Okay. Today we are going to play Franbo. And let me... I'm trying to get to where I can see my... Um... My video on kick. That way I can watch the chat. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <clears throat> Give me just a second. Hmm. There's a logout button. Oh, I have to... That's weird. Just a second, sorry. I really want to watch my chat because I can't, I don't have another way to watch my chat. The, um, the, I use Live Push, which is a thing where you can stream on multiple platforms at once. Um, It won't let me, um, it doesn't have kick that I can stream on. I have to make an RTMP, which is like a custom type thing. Um, oh, what the hell? God damn it. This is being a pain in the ass. Okay. Or I could just do that. God damn it. Okay, well, I guess I won't worry about it and I'll do it later. God damn it. Everything's gotta be difficult today, apparently. Holy fuck. Uh, this game uses autosave feature. I'm excited to be playing this again. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me, I wonder. It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Oh, it's so cute. Dark as the deepest night. <clears throat> it's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. Oh, the kitty. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels really bad. Oh, scary. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's mom screaming. Oh. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. 
And closer. Mom? Dad? Oh, God. Please don't. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, God, where's their legs? <laughs> Oh, the kitty gives hugs. <laughs> Angry kitty. <clears throat> Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. And here we are. Why is my... Fran, how do you feel? Fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is some something everybody has within. I want to find the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. The police are doing nothing. <clears throat> Don't be so negative. Surely we will get answers soon. But now I have something for you, friend. What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. Oh. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. <laughs> oh. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Okay. I should probably examine. Dearest Fran. Here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. <laughs> so I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all other things you find a good use. Uh, never forget, creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace, well, that's another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? <laughs> it's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. I don't want to take the medicine. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Just checks that off on his little... Oh, my God. Ugh. Scary. Oh, no. Take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Beware, friend, Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Friend, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Oh. I love you too, kitty. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Uh, 
I'm still here, hideous place. I've got to get out of here. Okay. Now we can examine everything. Name, friend, Bo Dagenhart. Age 10, gender female, history, patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family, tragedy, details omitted. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Okay. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. <laughs> Uh, oh dear, I miss you so much. Uh, red and tiny, you are hiding me. You are hiding from me. Hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Okay. Ugh. My legs are just fine. <laughs> Hello, friend. Good to see you're awake. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was a medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Why is she yelling? <laughs> Alright. Um, nothing in there. I've played this game like three times, so I, I kind of know what to do already. Okay. Okay, I guess I broke the curtains now. Uh, nurse, something happened. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally accidentally I have to fix this follow me <laughs> friend's so cute she's like so innocent I want to know what she's writing I'm curious oh, okay I guess she has to leave the room before <clears throat> something's missing have you seen the hook that holds up the curtains no miss I haven't seen anything well, I have to go find something to fix this, you little girl. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Uh, violent trauma can have great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe defects in some abilities such as trusting people near them seeing the world as a safe place making decisions etc because of these effects some traumas can lead several lead to several symptoms of major uh, mental illnesses for example not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world this can be interpreted as paranoia and then the drawing of the brain frontal lobe Motor cortex, sensory cortex, perennial lobe, octet. What the fuck? Words. <laughs> uh, temporal lobe. Oh, the nurse's handwriting is awful. It really is. Uh, okay. So this is about Fran Bo. The patient has been sleeping almost all all the time she only wakes up to drink water but I don't think she remembers that after drinking she goes to sleep again she hasn't been social for three days now uh, some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Duo teen. 8H. Keep those patches to stop bleeding. Uh, 
Um, why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. Ew. <laughs> okay, and then there was nothing in there. I didn't go that way, though. Oh, hi! Okay, can I... Let me examine this. Oh, so do I need to do that? Okay, there's a key inside. Then... Oh, wait. Was that telling me what the code was then? Uh, eight, nine, four, five. How do I examine this? There we go. Eight, nine, four, five. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Um, I hope somebody loves you. Hello, Phil. Hello. Uh, no. D you do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. <clears throat> yes, but you know that everything is locked. Indeed. But the office is the key. <clears throat> the office? What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. What the hell? Oh god! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And no one will help you escape. Okay, bye. <laughs> Leave me alone, I hate you. Uh, mommy, daddy, I need you so much right now. <clears throat> no, I won't let that monster stop me. I used to have a blue dress like yours. Okay. Fulmore and Bronstone, age 8, gender male. Uh, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy had developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia, not yet diagnosed. Treatment, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Okay. <clears throat> uh, to happiness, you can see. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wooden Horse, are you having a good time? That's funny. Oh, God. Oh, what the hell? Oh, is that my head? Give me back my head, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. <laughs> okay. Locked. Good reason to be curious. So. Okay. What's inside then? Oh, a picture. Can I just look at this? Yeah. Oh, my fucking god. <laughs> oh dear, my family. I will guard this with my life. Okay. Uh, who did it? Hello, Miss Nurse. Get out, creepy creature. Can I do anything with that? Oh, I can. I got a pen. Excuse me, lady. This may be very helpful. <laughs> Watch your step. Uh, no. We don't need towels. No, absolutely not. You, you can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. The hell? 
Okay, the doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Okay, and then I think I got everything back over here. Oh god. Okay, I don't think I need to have that anymore. Can I combine? And then use it? Yeah! Oh! Hello! Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Oh, let me see. Hello. Uh, you see them. You do, right? See what? A creature that follows everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. That's mine. My crayons. <laughs> I just like the green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw in green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But, you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses. They tie me up and when they, when I want to draw, I can't. The nurses are crazy. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh. Please cure me. Yes, and stop the red milk. I'll see what I can do. I believe we have some bandages to give this girl. There you go, buddy. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. Thank you. Uh, okay. What's on hers? Uh, Ad Adel... What the hell? Hmm. We're just gonna call you Adele, because I can. Uh, seven, female. Uh, the patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. Jesus, fuck. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has become close to the patient, though drawings, therapy, she's making process. Well, that's good. The bed is very pink. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, I didn't do my duotine thing in here, did I? Oh my god. <clears throat> you should blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your inner, your innocence, inner child, and devours it. Ugh. Uh, I don't want to touch it, the clown. It's the clown from the painting. What? <laughs> oh, hello. You're not- you're my beloved friend. Daddy was not there, mommy would not care. What the hell? Uh, can I look in there with this? The king likes drawings. Okay. Oh god, there was something passing by there. Hello. Huh? There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it wasn't opened. I know because I locked it. How did I get out then? <laughs> it was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go back to your room and wait for the doctor. Tell me what to do. 
I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. Stupid doctor. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, Fran. But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. Yeah, she hasn't eaten in three days and their excuses. What a bitch. <laughs> let me go eat something. Doctor, sir, please just let me out and eat something. You have to learn how to listen to those in charge. <laughs> oh, you big people. <laughs> just don't do it again, friend. Go, go and eat now and then get back to bed. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's the door we have to find a way to. What do you have to say? Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I'll give you the key if you give me a kiss. What the fuck? Oh, what a bastard. You can kiss your butt. <laughs> oh, she kills me. Hello, are you alright? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I just wanted to know if you're feeling okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? He'll eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Oh god. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs. Okay, anyway. Oh. Reach the key, huh? Oh! Uh... Hide your pain. What is... Wake up, it's about Black shadow is touching you. He says you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not, because it might happen even if you don't like it. Good night, shiny toys. The soldier lost his leg in the war. Little paper blo bloat. Boat, take me to the sea and beyond. Okay, I have that now. Oh, <laughs> she tried it on. That's so funny. Okay, let's see what this looks like normally. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work. The paper isn't working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. But what does the paper have to do? Uh, I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see, but why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Okay. Human approved testing. <laughs> Does that one? It works. It works. It's a miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great. Can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. I suppose I can use it. Oh, thank you. Uh, I suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy. Paper vision. I didn't even finish reading that. Did he just give me the paper? Or no, I can just take. Yeah. Uh, okay, what is this way? Okay, this is the... Um... Food area. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you uh, today? Just... I see dead animals. <laughs> I'm fine. Glad to hear. We'll carry on now. Alright. Very well, friend. Go play with your friends now. Okay. <laughs> uh, can I take one of these? Yes. Hello. Are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. 
Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Would you please kill me? Please. Sure. Bang, you're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, sofa's made to be sat on. I suppose not. Oh wait, can I talk to her? Oh, I think I can talk to her after she sits down. And he loves to drink milk like a kitten. Don't disturb me. Go away. I'm eating. Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your walking cane. A walking cane? Do you mean my sword? <clears throat> yes, your highness. Your sword. What will you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. Um, I think he wants... Yeah, the drawing. <clears throat> oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Thank you. Okay. Sit down, small child. Hey, Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I? Because I can do magic tricks and make you sleepy? Magic tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Woo! <laughs> yes, yeah, some magical stuff that'll make anyone fall asleep. Oh, that's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here's a gift. Take it slowly. Hey, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm looking at it for way too long. Alright, how does it work? I have no idea. Okay. Bye. <laughs> um, and I can combine it with that. Oh, this is a magical cake. Sleepy now. How do I get the... I don't like bitter coffee. Brand, what is it now? Nothing. Um... <laughs> Go mind your business. I'm very busy. No, you're not. Shut up, nerd. Uh, they hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. A oh, little boy, everyone is ashamed of you. Okay, it's just the same thing. Um, I don't remember if I looked at anything. Here. The holy man took off all, took all your clothes off. Oh, God. I see outside. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's anything out there. Um. The grandfather clock is big and grand. The signal is weird. Huh. I wonder if the pasta was cooked today. <laughs> Not by the looks of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, cause I know... Okay, I was already in here. I don't think I need anything else. <clears throat> hey, get your hands off that office door. <laughs> um, let's see. Patient visits today. Annie, that girl that just walked by. There's my name. Okay. 
Uh, I guess let's just offer this to him. Um, hmm. I don't remember how to make the, uh, that trigger. Because he gets coffee. Can I try this door? Uh, it's locked. I can't go out and play. Uh. Hmm. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. Um. Maybe I need to go back upstairs? Why are you following me? <laughs> Get out of here. How did you- how are you doing this? Okay, she's gone, so... Can I talk to her again? No, I can't talk to her again. Hmm. And this was the girl in here. And then there- I don't think there's anything else in here other than the hint that the, um... Uh, the kid wanted the drawing. Uh, if I call emergency, I don't think they would help me. <laughs> uh, I guess we can go back into all the rooms like this. It feels like a chilly breeze of sadness blowing through this fence. Maybe I missed something? I mean, obviously I'm missing something, but... It's alive. Okay. So I think we can roll out this room, maybe? For right now? <clears throat> and then this was their room. Oh, uh, would you help me escape? Hmm. What do I have in my inventory? I still have the crayon. Okay, I have the thing to get that key. I just have to, um... Get the coffee. And I don't remember how. Uh, ew. Sticky bloody parts. <laughs> uh, a crunchy pig's head. Reach the key. Oh, this clock sounds odd. Hello up there, miss. <laughs> um, okay, and I already looked at that. And I don't think there's anything else. Did all that already. I got that. Huh. Yeah, I can't go back down there if I... <clears throat> I guess I haven't done that yet. Try <laughs> Tried that door. I knew it wouldn't open, but... There's... Try that one real quick. Feels like a chilly breeze of sadness. Okay, so she just does the same thing. Hmm. This is kind of early for like a walkthrough, though. Because I thought she, like, the nurse was, um,. Like, comes in and says that 
that she needs to take the guard to the or the coffee to the guard and so we take it but I don't remember how to trigger that huh Hmm. Chocolate. Mm. Yeah, she because she doesn't take it on her own. What is it now? Can I borrow your magazine? No. <laughs> well, fine then, bitch. <laughs> okay, and he doesn't do anything. Uh, if I interact with any of this, does it do anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's like three sections to this. And then that's just gonna tell me that she, that that girl likes to drink like a cat. Is there, I can't activate activate? <laughs> hmm. What the hell? Oh, he'll take... Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't use the gra like the the grabby thing, because apparently <laughs> he takes it from you. Okay. So I was trying to do the right thing. Do I have to talk to him? Oh, I guess we're looking at. Um. But it's telling me that I can't do that. <sighs> Did I miss something? I wonder why that won't work. Is it broken? Did I break the game? Yeah, it's not letting me... It's not letting me give it to the guard. Because according to that walkthrough, it's supposed to... What the hell? I think I may have broke it. What the fuck? Because, yeah, that's supposed to trigger the, um... The, the older nurse coming in and us taking the coffee to the guard. Okay. We did all of that already. Yeah, it says talk to Annie for the sleeping pill and then god damn it I accidentally hit the wrong button I wonder if it's like a, a bug or something let me 
Let me do something real quick. Oh, there's save slots now. That's strange. Let me reload to see if maybe that works. Um, I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. Let me see why. What is it called? Is it? <laughs> I'm seeing if this is like a bug or something. What the fuck? I think I'm just doing something wrong, but didn't make any sense at all. There we go. Hmm. Used to grab a Okay, so a lot of other people are having this exact same problem. Sorry, I know that's annoying to watch. <clears throat> oh, okay. So apparently it's a a common thing. Hey, give me that. <laughs> you can't take that key. <laughs> She's just fighting him. <laughs> it's my grabomatic. <laughs> but I worked hard on it. It's my grabomatic. Give it back. Shut up. You don't make the rules. I do. This toy of yours will stay with me from now on. You bastard. I will get it back. I will. Do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. That's a lie. That is a lie. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I brought this cake for you. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake from you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Please take it. It will make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. So you don't want it. <laughs> no, leave me alone. Okay, so apparently using the grab -o -matic thing fixes that glitch and you can go back in here and then trigger the event. I, to I told uh, Marcel about the latest delivery but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well he'll catch up soon. Hey Gladys would you do me a favor? Sure thing. But <laughs> sure anything but bring go coffee to the garden. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. We got the coffee. Uh, use. Um, here's your hot, hot coffee, sir. <laughs> Get fucked, loser. <laughs> her face is like. <laughs> the look on her face is just get fucked. <laughs> look at what you did, you insane orphan bitch. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Now I have to go change. God, it burns like hell. 
Don't go anywhere, you little shit. Bye, loser. Guess you shouldn't have taken my grab matic shouldn't you? Okay, now we can use this for the key. <laughs> now I can unlock the office. Oh, I guess I probably have to... Okay. Oh, I love to open mail, but this isn't for me. A yellow typewriter. Oh, can I not click on the thing in it? No pictures or funny riddles. The doctor ate an apple. It's always good to carry an extra key. Mental Health Global Week. Uh, wait, what did that say? October and November? I guess we're in October now. Testing day. Every day is testing day. 24, 7, and 12. Huh. Oh. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. December 17, July 25. Excuse me? What? <laughs> I've never been able to figure that out, so I'm absolutely looking that up because I'm not gonna... Because <laughs> I don't understand what that is even supposed to mean. I think the first time I played this game, I guessed, like, just by looking at that, and, um, and I got it right. I wonder, actually, no, I don't know. Uh, 17 and 25? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here that I can look at. An interview with Dr. Dearn about... About working with children. <laughs> I always forget that it goes away. I don't really know what this is. <laughs> Oh god. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. That dead girl looks a bit like me. Huh. Oh, Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? Oh, okay. And I think we can do this. Maybe. A. There it is. Oh, I have to go in there. Like this. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. Oh, that rat hit its head. I should give it a helmet. I just keep going and going. Okay. As I also fall and hit my head. <laughs> oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. Uh, a mop that dances on the floor. Mr. Midnight hates mops. Um. Can I take anything from this? Huh, cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. Glove tells me nothing. All nurses wear gloves. The patient. 
uh, is our current target target response is positive now expanding the triggered gland ectoplamatin the hell uh, dose is up to 17 mcg micrograms micrograms maybe I don't know change the container so it looks like an approved variant of duotene oh what the hell Uh, I don't think oh well I don't think there's anything to take if I do this ew scary it's locked <laughs> okay maybe I need to keep it like this there's nothing under the blanket oh I did get another key didn't I though Okay. Oh, okay. If you struggle, you'll know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. Okay. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Okay. Oh my god, I keep falling asleep. <laughs> oh my dear kitty, we'll be together again soon, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. <clears throat> Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. <clears throat> At the end of the maze, Fran. Okay. Get up, Fran, you sleepy bitch. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. <clears throat> okay. Operating room. Patient Robert Clark. Psychosurgery procedure lobotomy. Oh my god. <laughs> Dr. Roman Bates. Observation failed anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. The procedure was canceled and incomplete. <clears throat> oh god. Jesus. Oh no, poor girls. I hope they get well soon. Yeah. Hello, are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. Come on, friend. Oh, okay. My path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for a mother to love me. You can't blame those who are ignorant. But you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you even though, uh, even through pain and tears. Okay. It's word. Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, yes, I took the new one upstairs. Franvo, no, I haven't seen her. What, the key to the cellar? Well, no. In the doctor's office? He used to have a key up there. Calm down, the key isn't here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it. All right, bye. <laughs> At the end of the maze. Okay. Oh, well, can I look at anything on her desk? I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Um, 
Oh, you're all skinny. Yuck. What? <laughs> oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Goodbye, Idjit. <clears throat> okay. Yes, I'm the best. <laughs> the very best. Alright, let's get out of here, bitch. You little bitch, I'll make you pay for what you did. Okay, but oh, bye. But, you clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? Yeah. What? It can't be. No. Oh, why hello? You know, I don't think this is a good time to be fainting. Get up. Uh, I need to go to the maze. Didn't I just watch you die, stupid? I don't think that's the way to go. Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to let him get me. I could have made it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Oh. That was so close. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's a statue and I can't go that way. <clears throat> ah! No! My feet... Oh, do I have to start all the way over? Damn. Oh my god. I almost did it again. I think I just did the exact same thing I just did. Okay, I don't think I need to go all the way over there. I think I need to go behind this one. Oh, no. I guess I'm thinking of something else. The next one? This one right here? <laughs> this one right here? Nope, that's a statue. And then, okay. So... I think I'll wait for it to come back. That way I don't get my ankles nommed on again. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> Slowly inching behind it. Mm, that wasn't right either. So maybe there's... I need to go farther. Because I have to get over here. Spooky shadow creatures. Okay. Now we can go that way. <laughs> the look on Franbo's face always cracks me up. Oh! Out. Yeah. At the end of the maze you will find... Uh, the evil critters of the night. They will hunt you. They will laugh. Oh, look at the little robot kitty. But there will always be a good side. <laughs> a cat full of nuts and bolts. 
will always be your guide. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. And now we're in the woods. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. I know the story about a girl with red shoes, she had a dog. Anything here? Oh, hello. Okay, bye. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I think that's the only thing to find here. Oh, well, I guess I should keep doing this. Oh, a key. Oh, curiosity be damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like that. I'm curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? Anyway, why won't you let me take the key? What are you? What is the right question, but why would be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I, I want the key, that's all. But that key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. Please just give it to me. I want to know what door it opens. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. You're very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Fran, pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. Uh, I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? <laughs> Can I have the <laughs> key now? Look, Fran. Look, person, Fran. We came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key. Then all of us got stuck here. <laughs> and because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So you're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees. But we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Give me the comb and I can fix you. But there's a problem. A filthy thief uh, took our comb and now we're stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you'll get the key. Deal? What does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. <laughs> he took the comb to make himself beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll try my best. We'll be here waiting. Okay. Just an empty... Okay. Oh, wow. You're... You really are a very big ant. Who's there? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? You always ask me the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Uh, where did you come from? <clears throat> I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell. I won't tell. Don't worry. But what are you doing here? Really bad things happened to me, sir. But now I'm looking for my cat. A cat, you say? Yes, sir. A black cat. Very big yellow eyes, Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens that the cat was eaten, chewed up and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle, beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. Blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see Mr. Midnight is the only friend I have? Please tell me you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. 
I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Should I do something like make it vomit? Kill the beetle pig. <laughs> he is also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. Kill your beetle pig friend? I can do it, yes. <laughs> do it. You can kill the beetle pig and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Okay. Well... I need this axe. Okay. Is there anything else here? There's a well here. Make an entry. So that's what I need the the door and the key for. Is there anything else here? No. Hello, tree. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think there was anything else here. I kind of went past everything in a hurry. Ding dong. Um, and I did this here. Okay. Hmm. What kind of bird are you? Do I have anything else? No. I just now have an axe. I don't think the beetle pig wants to die. <laughs> oh, he's fallen asleep. I guess he's very old, like 30 years. <laughs> don't disturb him. Okay. Um, okay, that's there. There was nothing else over here. I know I have to find blueberries, but I don't remember how. Mm. Yeah, let me just... Oh, okay. Should make a complete door. What's that? Oh, that's part of that rock. Uh, what else do I have? I don't have much to go with, so. Hmm. Can you just shout really loud? Damn. Oh no, that's the tree. I keep- because I know there's a pathway to get to his house, and I don't remember how to get there. So... <laughs> uh, it can be good to have a cozy place to stay. Mr. Midnight, are you in there? We already clicked on the shoe. A pretty horse. The king would like this one. <laughs> I remembered something funny. <laughs> God damn it. Um, what is that? I think I already clicked on that, though. Okay. Let's see. Uh, okay. You need to... There's no hole inside. Oh! The bird flew away. Okay, so maybe I need to use this to wake him up. Tickle, tickle. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, the threat is great. Great. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so wake up now. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see. But that's completely normal, isn't it? <laughs> yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries, the blueberries. Hmm. But there are no berries in the woods. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. <laughs> they live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Okay. Now we do our magical pills. Okay. Oh. Look, friend, I'm in danger. Find me alive, find me dead. Find me someday in a golden cage. Okay. Okay, I'm doing it. Okay, there's... It just makes the door disappear. Oh. No, don't eat random mushrooms, you friend. <laughs> um, there's no smoke coming out of the chimney. This must be the ant's house. Seems to be open but very stuck. Um. Aha! Give me that. <laughs> Just use an axe. Glue. Someone forgot to clean the brush. The, the queen of meat. I hate that. Oh! And I can reach a meat. A shingular meat. Okay. That's odd. I thought ants never cooked their meals. I don't know. Oh. Uh, what's that? Um, can I use this here? Okay. Cool. And I got the bag. I keep trying to hit I for inventory. Um, examine? Use. Oh, okay. A mouse trap and an extermination card? Can I look at that? Extermination. Or exterminator. Okay. Um... <laughs> I can just knock the child over. Wow, you're very rare. The blueberries. Oh, ow, that hurts. <laughs> Little shit. Okay. <laughs> can I get the blueberries now? Ah, oh, I got them, yeah. <laughs> you fuck nerds. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, bye. Um, and now I can kill the beetle pig. Use. And then kill that some bitch. <laughs> Good job. Hello, rat. What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Good for you, but I was hoping to find somebody else. <laughs> I assume you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat. My lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with uh, very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble a lot. Wait, maybe he's my cat. Oh, my lady, if he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why? What happened? I can show you. Follow me. Please, it's not far from here. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness, can you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Um, I need a comb. Did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb? The shiny, beautiful hair comb? 
Um, can I have it, please? Alright then, but can you please comb my hair first? Yeah. Yeah, I can comb your hair. <laughs> I don't like the noise he made. Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. Okay. So now we can get that key. Uh, oh, no, they were over here and I have to use my medication. Okay, and then use it on them. Here's your beautiful comb, misters. Oh, friend, the person, you finally did it. I hope the key opens the door you want it to open. Now fly, now we fly south at last, goodbye. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny monster, misters. <laughs> Have a nice trip. Okay, I got the key. I got the key. Okay, I thought she wasn't going to take the key at first. I was like, take the key. Um, okay. Wait, can I have the blueberries? Oh, damn. I probably need to tell him that the beetle pig is dead now, sir. Thank you. Now we eat. Uh, I can't. Just so you know, there was no cat inside the beetle pig, but a rat. A rat? Oh, I'm sorry. My eyes are very old, you see. I also have heart problems and a very bad back. I also su suffer from narcolepsy, and sometimes I don't. Okay. Well. Um. Okay, and then I can use it on this. And then use the key on it, I'm sure. A. It worked. Woohoo. What a curious little door. <clears throat> I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Uh. Um. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, chapter 2, Part 2, Double Personality. What the hell? What do I have on my head? <laughs> oh my goodness, where am I? <laughs> huh? What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no, your head. Kitty? <laughs> Wait a second. This isn't my kitty. It's just a weird hat. <laughs> Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Okay. Can I take anything from here? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I can take the knife. Mm, cookies in all flavors and colors. Oh, I can take baking soda too. Can I take anything else? Um, can't take any of that. Okay, I can't take any of the rest of that. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. A cooker for cooking. Mommy told me how to use this. Oh, I'm in a well. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Uh, oh, I see. You're very comfortable, little baby. Okay. And go up these. But I need something to get across here, I assume, to get to that. Okay. Well, I don't need to... I can just do that. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I close the window so cold wind stays out. Okay. Oh, what did I just get? Oh, I have matches. I'm getting a lot of things now. <laughs> uh, smells like weed. A weed we had in our garden. Uh, pepper. And salt. What an odd little thing. Looks like a seed. What the hell? Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't think I can take anything else here. No. Can I open this? The window's locked. Great. <clears throat> uh, let me... Oh, I didn't do my thing in here. Oh, it's still the well. Okay. I guess that makes sense because it's part of the entire kitchen. I got a vase with some flowers in it and it has ashes. Okay. Um, I don't know if that triggers them coming in or not. Oh, okay. Oh, is like the whole house the well? Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. That's so funny, Antonio the Greatest. <laughs> huh? Wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? It could be him, only a bit younger. That's funny. Oh, a typewriter, and it works. I guess I could write something, but there isn't any paper. Okay, turn it off, because it's loud. <laughs> okay, uh, wow, I can't see anything but water. Okay. Don't come at me, child. Oh my goodness, the smell. <laughs> Stairs end in the wall. Okay. Go upstairs real quick. A drawer open. Let me see what's inside. I got some candles. Okay. I'm just making sure like the entire ow. The entire house is the well. Okay. Uh, I got some tweezers. Uh, that's creepy. What the hell? Hello, doll. Who caught you? White candles everywhere. A mirror? But why can't- why isn't my reflection there? Oh, can I look in this? Perfume smells like teenagers. <laughs> Maybe it is for him. Okay. Turn on the light real quick. Oh! Hello, little babies. Who sewed you two together? Oh my god. <laughs> A rat. It's time to get up. Um, okay. There's so much stuff in here that I don't know if I need just one hat. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click on that. Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. Oh my goodness, it's you, my beloved friend. I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I've missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I really missed you. Oh dear, Fran. How, how did you find this place? After those people took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh my dear, I'll... Open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish all of this was just a bad dream. Everything's gonna be fine. We just gotta get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take my medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. 
Every time I had dreams about you, I felt a presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human. But... Uh, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. It's great to have somebody else taking care of us. Brand, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try and find the key to free you, alright? I love you. <laughs> okay. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? My head? It's My head is in just the right place. It's you, the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran Bo, that's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically? It was very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How do you know all this? <clears throat> we simply have to know. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. <clears throat> I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but I really need to know. Who told... Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little friend? Of course not. I'm curious, that's all. Mostly, I'm mostly confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. It's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. Yet you look so calm after finding him in the cage hungry and scared. I sh shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? Um, I love him, and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really want to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find a way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant, and I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done, and then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Oh, and I saw flying insects that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and now I'm... Uh, and now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm ten years old, but I'm not... But I'm going to turn eleven soon. And you? We're sixteen years old. Much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked us our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around somebody else's house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? I'm not stupid, and I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get into trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? No. You don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot. You asked for it. If you don't want to- If you don't do what we ask, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. You are evil and poisonous, but I'll do whatever you say. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a magic spell on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she had no idea how to actually do it. Anyway, 
This magic is very powerful and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be careful and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Okay. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us, you see. We weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But why are you like this now? One night a long time ago, something appeared before us. We thought it was an angel, but it wasn't. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back, but we'll do that later. When we no longer, when we're no longer attached to each other, and show him that he's powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual, and because you've been a very nutty girl, <laughs> you won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. I understand. I'll be waiting here. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you, you silly, silly girl? Okay. Oh, what a bunch of bitches. <laughs> okay. Let me look at this. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. The heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, and the burned body of a fox. Okay. This must all be cooked. This must be cooked all together inside of a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Um, what in the hell? <laughs> that word backwards spells ham, though. Can I take anything from here? Mm, it doesn't look like it. Okay, hello. Alright, bye. It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? Hey, you. Yes, who is speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically return. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and cat magnet. <laughs> they love us, but not to, but not to give us love. They use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. Why is my... That's why my kitty is here, then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? Yes. Yes, they did. Did you see uh, the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. But what should I do then? I'm not a clever toad, but if I were you, I would get- I would be creative. Huh? Creative? I'll try my best. And girl, please save us all. <clears throat> I really want to get out of here. Okay. A big rock. I'll leave it there. Um... Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that lets you- see things others can't. How do you know that? I'm a talking toad. Is that normal? I don't think so. <laughs> but you can talk to me. That makes you special. It's logical. 
Yes, you're right. But what about the things I can see? Then. Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Doubters need the truth on paper? My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. Okay. I don't think I can do anything else with this now. Okay, let's go back inside. Okay. Do I... What do I have? Um, there was a typewriter. I wonder... Because I think I can change... I could write something, but what? Hmm. Okay. Oh, this goes back up. Those ugly girls, they lock the attic, but how? Ugh. I bet this house smells like shit. <laughs> okay, I guess we could just start by getting... All the things ready. Uh, no, I don't want to use it. I want to examine it. Okay, a pentagram made from ashes. So maybe we can start with that. Does it have to be? Oh, it probably has to be in here. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then the candles. Um, do I need this? Yeah, I need that. Okay. Um, and then I think I needed water. Oh, <laughs> all right, Fran. Okay. Yeah. There'll be a little hoodlum. Turn the water off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, how do I turn this on? A cooker for told me how to use this. Oh, matches. Right, right, right. Hey. Uh Okay. Okay, what do I need now? Um, I don't think... I'm not sure if this is good in a soup. <laughs> I should find a recipe. Um, I don't know what I'll need like salt and pepper and stuff for. Um... <clears throat> uh, a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. That's a mysterious woman. Okay. So I wonder if I need to go plant that then. Oop. Um... Oh, I did get a plank though. A. Let me do the whole thing then. And now I can get across to that bottle. Okay. Nope, use, use that plank. I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. There we go, it just had to be used on that one. Uh, let's see, let's cut that. Can we just jump off? Damn. <clears throat> oh, there we go. <laughs> 
Uh, excuse you, bitch. Okay. Oh, that burned. Why? There's no fire. <clears throat> oh, I got the paper. This is so exciting. Uh, what is... Oh, okay. Blood from the executor of the ritual. Hair from the person you want to be witch. Okay. I found that. So where do I grow this then? There? Oh. A. Okay. I got the rose now. Uh, I think I have everything else. Uh, let's see. Okay, I got the flower. I need my own blood. Oh, little friend. Um, and then I think I just need hair from them. <laughs> there goes my blood. I hope it tastes good. Um, damn it again. Oh, salt and pepper. Um, no, I'm not trying to use it. Damn it. I want to examine it. Okay, so I think I need to go and change the, um, recipe, the original recipe that they gave me. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Hair from your head. Hello. Oh my god. Friend, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. We'll learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. But I need hair from your head. I think you need help getting rid of this bag. I think I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If I want to get out of here, this bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. <laughs> no, I don't think I did. We're waiting for you, Fran. Um... Do I need to find, like, scissors or something? Um... Skizzies? Hmm. Let's see. I wonder if I can use... No, um, <laughs> but maybe. Is it still locked? Okay, yeah. Uh, do I need to show it to them? Maybe. Oh, okay. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find hair in the bag. Your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? No hair is needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down here in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. Okay. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay. Uh, now the hair. Good. Okay. And I think that was all. Here you want to be witch. Um, I don't think anything is left to do. I think we're done. Right? I think we are A-OK. -okay. Oh. Um, 
Draw a pentagram with the ashes, put light back black candle, fill a cauldron, pour over the person you want to bewitch. Okay. Hmm. Do I need to go back out here and talk to him? Did you find a solution already? Okay, no. That, that, nah. No. I wish you could skip dialogue. It's all the same thing. Okay. Um. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to get my kitty back. Okay, so do I need to, like, light candles and stuff? Or... Do I need to... Mm -hmm. Ah. Some, in some ingredients are missing? I put my blood in there. Put those in there. Hair from the person you want to be which. Did I... Do I need to do that again? <laughs> um... Stupid cat. Hmm... I wonder... It says some ingredients are missing. What am I missing? And I can't light these right now? No. We're waiting for you, Fran. Okay. Let me go take a look around. Did I need to click on them? The frog died. It's not good to eat bottles. Um. Do I need to use it on that? No. Hmm. I don't think I need to... Yeah, no. It's just the rope? Okay. Nope, those are the wrong stairs. Hmm. Nothing in there. empty. Oh! What the hell? They got a broom. I guess I should have realized that that was out of place. Clever enough to find another. Use the broom on boiling water. Ah, no, I didn't mean to read that. Um. No, not on the fire, but over there. Uh, you could do that, technically. Why do I have this broom? Mm. Hmm. Okay. 
They still say that they're waiting for me. Hmm. <laughs> Use the broom on the flowers. Can I have this stool? Oh. Hmm. Is there anything over here? Hmm. Okay. Well. What the fuck? I don't remember ever getting the, um... Uh... The broom before. Could be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but... Ah, I clicked on that. I didn't mean to. Okay. Okay, but I'm missing something for the... No, not on the floor. On the candles. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh my fucking god, no way. God damn it. <laughs> It's done. But I'm done. <laughs> uh, okay, well, fuck. What? But I'm done with this, right? Do I need to show it to them? Uh, use? Ah, oh, everything's ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good, let's go. Come on, stupids. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. No, not on. On Fran. Oh. Do I just need to use this on them? Ah, you fuck nerd. And now I will say the words. Wait a second, that isn't the right spell. You tricked us. Ah. Oh god. Oh god. Technically, you were separated. Now, what have I done? Oh my goodness, this isn't right. Eh, who cares? Can I- <laughs> can I clean that? <laughs> Okay, so now I have the key to open the the mirror. 
the mere roar. Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Uh, you were thinking that it would unlock that. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Okay, that one doesn't move. Okay, that one also can't be moved. Oh, there's two cogs down there, though. Maybe. No. I think it has to be right there. Um... have to connect so my cat keeps trying to open the door I think this one needs to go. Maybe not right there. Because I think they have to fit together. Why did I do that? <laughs> um. I have to open this thing, but how? Okay. I don't know. Maybe this one's supposed to go down here. Okay. Let me get that one down there. I don't know if it's actually supposed to go there or not. But... Oh, shit. Supposed to be the big one then? Mm -mm. No, not that one either. I'm kind of confused about which one's supposed to go there. Doesn't look like it's that one. Maybe it's one of those. Hmm. Well, now I gotta get this one. <sighs> Shit. Okay. It's so weird. I don't... 
remember how to... I don't remember which one's supposed to go there specifically. The mechanical thing, it rotates. Maybe some sort of engine. Is it supposed to be next to it? I wonder if it has to be like side by side. Hmm. I think it's funny because the very first time I played this game, I got this on the first try. And now I can't remember what it, how to... No, it's not side by side. Okay, what in the actual fuck? <laughs> it's always so irritating whenever I've gotten it many times before. <clears throat> and now I can't remember. What is the... Oh, it's gotta be on top. What the fuck? The only thing I didn't try is the... Oh, okay. Okay. Does it also have to be on top? Okay, no, it's gotta be like that. Okay. No. Um. Well, I guess I could move that back around somehow. Probably going about this like the really long way. There we go. A. Oh. Oh my god. What's this? Two skeletons? And another key. Sister Promise. Uh, we, Clara, and Mia Bohamot? Bohamot? Hamal? Bahamut? Bahamut? Whatever. Bahamut? <laughs> what the fuck? Promise to revenge to the unfair destiny Edward decided for us. With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. Ugh. We won't stand this any longer. <clears throat> Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change to that. But now with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. Mother must die. Okay. My pills are called Duotin 2. Okay. So, can I... Or is it still locked? Oh. Okay. I think this is the key. Yeah, we did it. It worked, my dear kitty. It worked. Come out, let me hug you. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, friend. My good friend. Oh, my dear. We have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge, man. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, we figured it out, Mr. Frog. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and return to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to, but I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite malle malleable. It would be impossible to carry you both on uh, to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us yet, please. Uh, I think I have some baking soda. Perfect for this situation. Take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you're all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. A. Hey. Oh my god, he's a giant frog. <laughs> it worked. It really did. I'm so big. I feel gorgeous. <laughs> uh... Great, let's go. Come on, Mr. Midnight. <clears throat> sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. What are you talking about? He wants to help us, that's all. Alright, but if he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay, but try not to hurt him too much while we're s sitting on him. The water is deep, and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. Oh, I promise uh, I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey girl, before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Hey, nice. And this book was with it, too. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you. I thought I had lost it forever, but the book isn't mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go. Uh, yes, here we go. Hold on tight. <laughs> oh god, I'm playing Frogger. <clears throat> that wasn't right. <laughs> oh, I probably could have jumped on at the very last minute. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, I was like, where did I go? Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can get on that? And then jump on that one. I think that's probably what I'm gonna have to do. Maybe. That was a little bit too soon. <laughs> I did it all in one go, but... Hey. I don't know if I could have made that. Okay. One more. I think it's one more anyway. God. I don't know about anyone else, but I never really liked Frogger. <laughs> I was never very good at it. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir, and thank you for the ride. Bye. Friend, uh, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and... Really soon, all the scary things will disappear. Ah, I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. Okay. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, Fran, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. 
Um, I can go first. All right, then you can follow me. All right, Kitty, you're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. We're doing great. I think we're almost there. And now I'm in front of you. Fran, wait. Oh, you fucking nerd. Get out of here. Oh, my dear. I can't hold on anymore. I don't want to die. You won't die, my friend. Come on. You can do it. Jump. Alright, here I go. I got you. You don't got me. Fran, no. <laughs> the cat just leaps off after her. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh dear, Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You're going to leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear, Fran. You will understand soon. Aunt Grace, no, don't go, please. Okay, he just rises from the blood. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran, where are you? Oh, am I playing as the kitty now? Fran's shoe. One of Fran's shoes. Okay, there's the clothes. Oh, what an ugly tree. I'll scratch you, evil thing. Kitty, kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear. You've turned into a tree. What? But how? Oh, dear. Oh, my dear. This is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he doesn't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. Hello. Uh. Ow. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? <laughs> Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Stop it. I'll scratch you. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, what's happening to us? Stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. Um, okay. No. I went across there. Okay. Uh, I've seen similar. Okay. Oh, look at how cute that is. 
Uh, can I just use the crystal on that? Yeah. <clears throat> I got the purse only because I'm the best. No, <laughs> well, I love the way he's carrying it. It's so cute. Uh, no. Friend, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show the gentleman who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Okay. Huh? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Mm -mm. They want to help you, Fran. I can feel it. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them, please. Don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Chapter 3. Vegetative State. <laughs> they put me in a planter? <laughs> Welcome, creature. My name is Zyar. Do you speak human? Oh my goodness, yes. Finally, words I understand. Oh, my good friend Ride told me that you showed up, showed him an illustration with four humans and a cat. I assume you are one of them, the little girl. Please forgive my good friend if he scared you. We have never seen a human looking like a tree before. Yes, let me explain it to you. No need to speak, my child. The seed will show me everything. <laughs> hey, don't you pick my fruits. They're delicious. Hmm, let me see. You are good, no doubt about that. A seeker of the truth. Very common of the Bow family tree. Oh, your name is Fran. You're the girl with the passion for life. I see great love towards this little creature standing next to you. A cat. Protector of gates. Interesting. Can you see all that in a seed? Be quiet. <laughs> I see something else. The seed doesn't hide anything. I see a world nobody should see. Nobody except for one. What do you mean except... What do you mean by except for one? Do you mean the monster? You're not supposed to be here, Fran. <clears throat> this is the only thing I can tell you, my child. I understand, but can you help me then? We can't let you leave now. It's too dangerous for us. You should never have been aware of our existence. There must be a way. Am I dead or something? <clears throat> dead? What do you mean by that? You know, like when you no longer exist? Besides, it's not normal to be a tree. I must be dead. Death is nothing more than the absence of love. Once you can't feel love, you die. Even if your body still walks. Then I'm not dead. You have you have to help me get back home. Little cat, come closer. Let me see you. What's your name? My name is Mr. Midnight, sir. That is indeed a very pretty name. Do you think Fran should go back home? Yes, I do, sir. Show us the way back home, I implore you. Ah, I have a question. Are you the king? You're hilarious. Yes, I am the king. The king of Esterza? Esterza? Oh, what an honor, your highness. By the way, I like your leaves. They're very pretty. King, sir, please, will you help me? Why is this need to go home so great? The seed told me your story. You don't have much to go back to. There are many reasons, sir. But the most important is my aunt. She will protect me. I want to feel like somebody cares about me. I'm confused almost all the time, and I want to be someplace where I feel at home, sir. I see. You're very brave. I just want to go home. Please help me. There are things I cannot do, but I will help you. Uh, I will lead you to the door that will take your home, will take you home, but it's up to you to walk through it. 
Really? Oh, thank you so much. And where's the store, sir? We'll talk about it later. First things first, you must be able to walk and talk on this land. Yes, sir. That would be really great. I'm afraid I won't be able to bring your human body back. Only the great wizard can do that. But we'll talk more about him after the procedure. You must first understand our language. But how will I ever understand your language? Eat this fruit. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. Your ears and tongue will be able to understand. But not your eyes. That means you won't be able to read. <clears throat> Don't worry about that. I can always ask. Excuse me, do you understand what I'm saying, human lady? Yes, I do, and you sound so kind. This is incredible. Do you understand my kitty? Uh, I didn't, your highness. I demand one, one fruit for myself. You don't need the fruit, Mr. Midnight. Our land is based on fragrances and sound. You'll see everything as your own world very soon. No doubt about that. You'll do fine, kitty. And sir, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, but I don't think I'm the right one to give you the answers. What? Now it's time for the procedure. Are you afraid of heights? A little, yes. I get dizzy. Why? Take her upstairs immediately. <laughs> Where are you taking me? What are you going to do to me? Uh, to get some arms and legs. Uh, everything will be fine. I'll be waiting for you, friend. I love you. <laughs> Oh. Oh, hello. It kind of looks like an axolotl. Um, good, good day. My name is Palandris. I am your doctor today. Humbly at your service. Are you the emergency case? Wow, amazing. What a huge, beautiful, fluffy thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I've never seen anything like you before. I'm still trying to understand all of this is real. My name is Fran. I'm a human girl. <clears throat> the king sent me here to get some arms and legs so I can go home. Oh, a human. I think we can get you a pair of arms and legs. But we'll have to travel a bit further in order to fix that. Are you ready to enter the paws of the beast? What beast? Me, the beast. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> here we are. Well, this place is so beautiful. I wish I could stay here forever. Thank you. This is my home. This is where I was born. The spirit of the great Valokas created it. It has the purest water in the whole universe. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. So when do we... Or so when do I get my arms and legs back? Oh, right. We wait until the water purifies. Uh, purifies the curse. In the meantime, we can talk. Alright. Hmm. So, what is the Velocus? Haven't you heard about the five realities? He's the king of the first reality. A long time ago, he was at war with the darkness, and one day he fell. He fell so badly, his heart was broken, he was all alone. But he came to Asturista, and his blood made this water pink. That's why it's so pure. It's a very long story. Well, it sounds grand. I mean, I didn't know about other realities. And how is it that you're here? What brought you to Asturza? My kitty and I were on our way back home. I was so happy to see and hug him again. But then we fell. The big monster that follows me did this. He broke the he broke the bridge. He wants me dead. Who would like to see you dead? That sounds terrible. I prefer not to talk about this. But, Sir Doctor, do you know why I became a tree? Yes, yeah, sometimes wishes are so strong that they become true. You did this in order to keep yourself alive. I think of, about it 
Think about it this way. <laughs> your human body was destroyed, but you wanted to keep being Fran. You wanted to keep your life. So you took on this empty shell to maintain your precious memories. This is actually the first time I've seen a human using a tree as a chrysalis. But it's dangerous to have you here. It makes our land vulnerable. I did this to myself? Wow. But Polantris, sir. How? I didn't know I was doing anything. You really didn't know what you were doing? I see. Well, when you traveled to Asturza, you opened a door between your reality and ours. And with this door open, unexpected creatures can also enter our reality. And if this happens, the balance will be tainted. And there is only one who wishes to poison the second reality. The monster, the terrible black. Oh no, don't cry. I can't see this happening again, I just can't. Don't be sad, doctor. I'm very sorry for what I did. I didn't mean to. Oh, little girl, you're so nice, and you don't have anything to be sorry for. I think you're very special, but let's concentrate on your arms and legs, alright? Hmm, yes, doctor. Soldier of the sun, spirit of the water, give Fran her arms and legs. <laughs> wiggle wiggle. How do you feel, Fran, from Mr. Ista? Wow, I feel like a beautiful tree. I have leaves. I'm glad you like it. I told you we would fix it. <clears throat> this water is magical. It can fix anything. Anything? Do you think it can fix my mommy and daddy? What do you mean, fix them? What's wrong with them? Nothing, doctor. Thank you very much for helping me. You're the best doctor I've had, and you're fluffy and beautiful. I had another doctor before. His name was Dr. Dearn, but he was an evil old man. An old man? Hmm. I bet he wasn't that bad. Maybe he was just following the rules. Let's go now. I'll leave you to the station. Leave you at the station? There's a bunch of long-winded conversations in this. <laughs> <clears throat> Here we are again. Show Zyre the king. Uh, what a nice Esther Denise you've become. Thank you again, doctor. You'll have to meet my kitty someday. That would be lovely. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye. You fluffy kitty. Aw, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great Estherstenes you've become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with water. But he was sad. He told me many things. But I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Polantras will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who can bring your human body back. And he has the stones to open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. You haven't been out. You haven't been outside his this castle, <laughs> but you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, Fran. The great wizard lies. What the hell lives upon <laughs> the great mountain, Cotrim? Uh, but we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the Great Wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. <laughs> you see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most important task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see, so the stones are like keys. And where is the mountain you mentioned? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Oh. Have a great Thursday day. And good luck finding the great wizard. Bye. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature? That's Polantris. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. 
Thank you. Thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? I don't think so. Maybe they're on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyway. I have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain, too. Yes, Mount Cotrum. <clears throat> the great wizard lives there. Let's go. Let us go. Oh, well, I didn't want to. It looks so tasty, but I don't think I'll eat it right now. Okay. I can't do anything there, it looks like. Oh, these flowers are huge. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> no. No, you can't get in. It's closed. Oh, it's closed? I didn't know. What's at the end of the passage? Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it'll be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see Polantris? Yes, that's me. Polantris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes. But why is the library closed? Well, that's logical. As the sun goes around the second moon of Asterisa, we open. Only then will the real knowledge be learned. And that only happens in fall or winter. Oh. Oh, so you don't learn anything while it's summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. <laughs> well, I'm curious. That's why. Everything looks so different here in Asturista. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Yes. Thank you, sir. Bye. Okay. Can I take any of these? Oh, hello, another person I can talk to. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where Mount Kotrum is? Yes. <laughs> can you tell me where it is? <laughs> yes. Well, tell me, please. Mount Kotrum is only in wintertime. Wintertime? What are you talking about? Of course, wintertime. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't want to wait for it? You go there. Go? Oh, but how? Sorry, I'm not good at explaining things. Go down the stairs, then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things. I think he tried with, he tried with me before. All right, thank you. Okay, so we can't understand that. <laughs> Uh, that's the ground. It's a very big tree. And that's the castle. <laughs> Paper swirls. A mountain. What are you doing? Oh, they're flying around in the back. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go back. I meant to click on the cat. Uh, you told me we would have to find Mount Kotrum and the Great Wizard. Right. Uh, let's go this way first. Good thread and cloth to make stuff. Greetings, are you interested in fabric and thread? I have some. Out of curiosity, miss, uh, for what purpose do you use fabric? Everybody is naked. Well, whatever you need it for. Uh, we also have thread for making other things. Hmm. I see. Uh, I have to go, miss. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's the clockmaker. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm? I'm working on my clock. Oh, I see. Uh, sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I make clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. And do you know where Mount Kotrum is? Mount Kotrum only exists in wintertime, otherwise it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be on Mount Kotrum. 
You don't need to wait for winter. That's absurd. Time is an, an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality? That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? We'll go towards the castle, but turn left when you see the stairs. <clears throat> God damn, I swallowed weirdly. You'll find a big clock on a tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You're very nice. Bye. <clears throat> okay, so no, no. <laughs> Let's go that way. Uh, this is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Uh, maybe I can ask for help. Okay, so I guess we have to go back. Uh, sir, I have a little problem. Hmm? Yes, I don't have any. <laughs> the big clock on the tree is... It's broken. I can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? What a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg, I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big gold coin per clock. Time is gold, you know? I don't have any coins. Hmm. Then no clock will ever be fixed. Please, sir, do it as a favor. I need to go home. I can't help you then. Bring me a gold coin or nothing will be fixed. I understand. Thank you. I'll see if I can get some gold for you. Bye. Alright. <clears throat> Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? This war is about to start and I can't see any meaning to the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one gold coin if you come back alive. <clears throat> Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas? And I am the Val... Val... Valkus? Val what the hell? <laughs> I didn't even look at it. <laughs> uh, black and white, shadows and light. <clears throat> uh, is this sort of a board game? Yes, a board game. And let's immerse ourselves in this adventure. You against me. I'll give you a coin if you win. What do you say? Yeah, sure. What are the rules? Uh, first to place three of the same figurine figures <laughs> in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. So it's like tic-tac-toe. Uh, we toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure, it sounds like a, like a game we used to play at school called tic-tac-toe. But... Why would you just give me the gold coin if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around for a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, then let's play. Okay. Uh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I just fucking did that. <laughs> I could have absolutely just won there. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, look at that. I think I need coins for something else, so I might as well just get more. I 
I did the exact same thing. Okay, well, it's good to know that I could just continually do that. <clears throat> That's so funny. Um, I don't know how many times that was. Okay, I think that was like four or five. Um... Oh, that was very clever. Good for you. Yes, I'm good at this. Thank you for the coin, sir. It's very shiny. Bye. Oh, it doesn't give you another one. It doesn't give you multiple. It just gives you one. Okay, well that was completely pointless. <laughs> okay, there's your coin. Here, sir. Your gold coin. What's that? I haven't fixed any of your clocks. Just fix the clock. Oh, but I thought you wanted the coin to fix the clock. Yes, but you have to offer me the job first, alright? Do it and be polite. Oh, sir clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold in the name of, uh, time? I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer. Very passionate. <laughs> Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Thank you. Oh, God. Disgusting. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a spider. Ugh. I hate spiders. Hmm, you were right. This clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. <clears throat> hmm. Yes. Hmm. Oh, there. What is it? Uh, it seems somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral, uh, breaking a defenseless, a defenseless clock. Why would somebody break it? Kamala's, Winter, Mount Kotram, the stones, many reasons. Oh, what are, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamala's, the evil darkness. They work for Remor, the terrible black. And Kamalas are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around here. It wouldn't surprise me. Remor wants the stones. But what I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless to him and his kingdom. And the stones are in wintertime. Is Remor a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones. They're my way back home. I hope it's not too late. Aha, that's why you need the uh, to go home in wintertime and go to Mount Kotrum. I didn't read that quite correctly, but... <laughs> Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm, well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that'll make it easy for you. Here. Uh, it's a remote control for the clock. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons uh, with just a quick turn. But it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful, thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. 
Please call me Cogwind. <clears throat> Alright, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now we can... Start. Can I do something? I don't know if I can use my knife on that. Kitty, I'm going to do something. Act natural. Neither of you were acting natural. <clears throat> okay. So I know I need a lemon. Hey. Thank you. Oh, I still have the coin. Interesting. Okay, we'll come back. Um, what the hell? Oh, wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material, we are Velocus. Uh, oh, you're very shiny and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. What creature? One of the young Valconus Va Valocus <laughs> is going to receive the shield. Okay. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, uh, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. <clears throat> How, where are you all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You're full of magic yourself. But I want to know things. And it's odd. I feel like you know everything. Uh, we are the light. We are everywhere. Uh, what answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents. And why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back on you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now. And too strong to let it go. But don't be sad, dear. We have to keep going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Um, okay, so is it different back here at all? Okay. I need this. This flower is beautiful. It's so different from the rest. No, not on Fran. On the, on the flower. Can I, like, get it? I can! Okay. Great. Man, a knife is a very useful thing to have. <laughs> okay, now we can go into winter time. <clears throat> oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Uh, sorry, sir. I'm Fran. I need your help. Uh, is this Mount Cotrum? Excuse me, can you talk? You have many questions. That's good. Oh, sorry, sir. The king said you could help me. <clears throat> uh, what the king says, we do. Uh, I need you to lend me the stones to open a door to my world. The stones are missing, and I don't remember where they are. Every time I seek, every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. Um, so they can't be found. Oh, I see. Maybe I can help you find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I once saw a human. I 
I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. <laughs> because if nothing exists, then nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I ask again, how? Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. <laughs> what brings you to the great wizard? That means me, just so you know. <laughs> Good day, uh, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones? Uh, it's been a long time since somebody c has come around asking for the stones. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, uh, the black shadows, the Kamalas. They try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. But sir, I need the stones. This isn't my home. Hmm? The stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly will I be able to tell you where to find the five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then the only one who can bring them back is me. Oh, that was a lot of information, sir. Let me show you. It certainly was. Okay. This is the Star of Asterisa. Uh, the greatest guide of the sky. The greatest caretaker of this land. Hmm. And what do I have to do, sir? What are the riddles? I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. <clears throat> the answer is always one of them. Uh, place the items on the Star of Asterisa uh, on their respective symbols. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Okay. Uh, I'm cold as I am, but if you use me... I'll be burning hard. Hmm. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile? I'll get you. So that's probably the lemon we have. That might be... Do we still have matches? Uh, flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. So that one's a fish. Uh, light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. Uh, so a feather, maybe? Oh, uh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Okay. Oh, Sir Wizard, the king told me that you could make me human again. Did he? I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember, but I can't go home as a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover more of my knowledge. Perhaps we can uh, try to make you human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. <laughs> Just try to figure out the riddles and guess everything uh, will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become human? I think the smell is very important, <laughs> if I remember correctly. So bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes. Alright, sir, I'll bring you my clothes later. Bye. Okay. So now, we go up here maybe. Oh, fucking okay. Oh, kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? Huh? I I think it was the shadows. Oh, dear, I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, kitty, they're all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We'll go home soon, dear. K 
Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Great, now we can keep going. The mountain top is very high because it's at the top. Uh, is it different at any other point in time? Can I talk to you now? I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. Um, let's see. Can I just start stabbing him? <laughs> uh, I don't think I need that quite yet. I couldn't talk to him at any point in time. I didn't even try. Okay, and I think she says the same thing here. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll go look around in winter then. Uh, sleepy tree. Good night. <clears throat> okay, we were already over here. Okay, we don't need the ladder. Oh, what the hell? Palantra, sir? Oh. Wait, don't go. Oh no, he looked really bad, kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. Okay, so I have a feather now. Uh, I don't think I can walk across that. Uh, that is... Hello? Huh? Everything's so closed. Everyone must be inside their homes for sure. Okay. Hmm. Okay, nobody is here. <clears throat> Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I've seen flying bert birds. I've seen flying birds. I've seen flying boats, sir. How do they work? Uh, think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. <clears throat> and can I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, the blo- the fucking- uh, the boats only work with Esternes. I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Hello, little root. You're so cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute, too. <laughs> I'm Fran, and you are? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma. And I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't remember uh, any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. <laughs> I have to go now. Uh, you have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Okay. Um, I've already talked to the clockmaker. Can I talk to this guy? Hello, Fran. I'm- Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruder. Um, and I'm molding this piece of iron. Oh, for what? I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. Oh, I see. Uh, so you can make all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and... Padam, pa I'll do it. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. Okay. Let us... Because I need a fish. 
And I'm wondering... Hmm. Okay. Well... Did I go this way? No, I didn't. Oh, I can use this. The island is very tiny. Oh, okay, so we can go and get my clothes. Oh, friend, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge uh, to get your purse. Wow, kitty, you're very clever. I hope we find my things. Okay. Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills aren't here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me any good anyway. Maybe they'll re reappear someday. Uh, let's keep going now. Okay, so I got my clothes. Can I take this stone? Okay. Okay. Um, oh, there's a fishing pole right there. I almost missed it. Okay, I got the fishing pole. Um, and now we can go... No, not that way. Now we can go get a fish. Come closer, friend. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. Mommy, is that you, Mommy? Uh, my beloved daughter, come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. You have to come closer, Fran. I want to kiss you. But you can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer now. If, if you don't, the big monster will come and get you. No, you're not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you. <laughs> uh, mommy, you're scaring me. Mommy, stop it, please. Oh, God. Okay, well. Now I'm gonna get my fishies. Oh, it's broken. Okay, so then I need to go back to this guy. Uh, sir, look, I found a fishing rod, but it's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? Huh? You just said the exact same thing as someone else back in the hospital. Really? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse when I broke the curtain. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, you're quite strange. Well, let's forget about it. Can you make me a hook for the fishing rod? Yes, let's do it. If you give me one coin, um, I can give you half a hook. But if you give me two coins, <laughs> you'll get an entire working hook. I don't need half a hook. I need the whole thing. Uh, the whole thing will cost you three coins. Wait, what the hell? One coin for half a hook, two for the working one. Oh, I see. Okay. I hate this guy. <laughs> hmm. Your math is stupid, sir. Alright, let's play again. Yes. Okay. And I just need one more, because I believe I still had the one from before. And I'm getting really lucky. Okay. Okay, and then that should... Thank you. And that should be three. Maybe I have to give it to him one at a time? That's kind of strange. Ah, uh, no. No! Alright, bye. <laughs> Uh, here are your three coins, sir. 
Wonderful, thank you. And here's your hook. I hope it works well. Hey, thank you. Oh, do I have to find like a um, string or? Damn. Oh, fabric, huh? Yeah, it's a good day for fabric and thread. I am at your service. Hmm. I think I have to come here in a at a specific time and talk to her and she'll give me a thread. Maybe I'm wrong. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to her. Oh well. Uh, we'll come back here in a second. Okay. I have to get in here, too. Um. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? All the Asters and citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen. That's a new one. Uh, too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. Can't let you in. Um. Alright, sir. I understand. But what can I do, then? I would really like to go inside. I don't know. This has never happened before. Hmm. I guess I'll have to find my own way inside. Thank you. Bye. Uh, can I do this now? No. Because I know there's something around here. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know quite yet. Um, we can go back to the library since we can make it winter. <clears throat> or did he say fall or winter? I don't remember. Stop right there. Do you know the password? Oh no, what password? The library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. Do you know who has the password? The great wizard, of course. He knows everything. Hmm. Alright, I'll see if I can find the password then. Okay. <clears throat> Off to the wizard again. He turned into a snowman. <laughs> um... Wrong way. <clears throat> okay, I've I think I've found like almost everything. So please give me a clue or something. I need your help. Help? I'm already helping you. If you want me to solve it for you, then you wouldn't learn anything. Time and space are great, and the answers can be found anywhere. But they are always there. I'm sure you'll find the answers. Never give up. Okay. Well, then... Oh, smelly clothes. I can't make you human yet. We have to find the first stone. Okay, so what... No, I don't want to use them. I want to examine. Um... Uh... See matches. I didn't even look to see. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it goes. The first one is matches, so. Mm. Okay. Uh, what's the second one? I'm shiny as the sun. Okay, so it's the... 
that one. And then I think the third one is... Yeah, that's the fish, so the feather is that one. Okay, I don't have anything else to put there. Um... Let's see. Do I need to show him what the... Hmm, it just set him on fire. Um... Let me take some of these. Oh, what? No. Hmm. What happens if I just place the first one, though? Ah, damn. Hmm. No, I didn't mean to click on him. I was clicking on the thing behind him. That. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I guess since... It doesn't seem to matter. We'll just put them back. Um. And I can't talk to this guy yet, right? This mountain top is very high up because it's the top. Hmm. I don't know, because I thought that, um, I thought that he would give you something, but I don't know, I don't remember how to get the thread. Um, and I don't remember how to talk to the, um, the, what you call it, the, the mountain. <laughs> um, and I know you have to send the cat in first, uh, to the, um, uh, the, like, little club thing that you need the ticket for. But, uh... <clears throat> the hell? Oh, no. I didn't do that. Hmm. Because I think I need the flower for the the lady. The mountain. Um. Oh shit. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, no, but how do I... How do I get the thread, though? I wonder if I need to, um... Hmm. Q. 
Okay. Yeah, it's not telling me how do I how to get the thread. These fucking walkthroughs are stupid. Um Because all it said was, um, ooh, oh my god, of course. It's always something so simple, too. <laughs> I just needed to fucking use it with the, the lady. Is that the way to the... No. Okay, now we can go this way. But no, that walkthrough was like, didn't even tell you how to get the thread. Um, oh wait, what? I'm a shopkeeper. Hello miss, I'm wondering if you have thread for fishing line, do you? Fishing line thread? Yes, I have some. Do you want it? Yes please, how much is it? Well, it's, uh, well quite a lot, is that good? I mean, price-wise, miss. I only need enough for fishing line. Oh, I forgot to think about the price. You see, I've never sold anything before. But you know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. <laughs> thank you. Uh, oh well. Thank you, miss. I hope you come up with some prices and sell something soon. Bye. Okay. Jesus fuck. Hey, now we can use this. <clears throat> now we can use this. <laughs> okay, and then that was the last thing we... I didn't mean to click that. That was the last thing we needed. Nope. <laughs> okay. And... Now we have the fish. There goes the dead fish. Hmm. Poor fish. Alright. We are ready. I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. Uh, yes. We'll start with the fire. Kotrim has awakened. Kotrim is alive. <clears throat> On the top of the mountain, he will be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Ah, your hat. <clears throat> yes, the stones are hiding in my wizard's tools. That's why I can't remember a thing. But now I'm remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Kotrim. And come back when you have the hat. Then we can do the other things. Okay. Hello. Ah, uh, who dares uh, wake me? Who? Oh my goodness, you're alive. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran? I see. I don't know what that means. Well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, alright. Mine is Kotrim. Do you want to know why? Uh, tell me. Sure, tell me. <clears throat> Kotrim means born in heaven. I used to be a star. Uh, and because I was born in space, it's very logical. Oh, wow. I've never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, friend. So what brings you here? Uh, the great wizard told me to get the hat, so if you don't mind... Hmm, I can't do that. I'm divorced. What the 
fuck does that mean? <laughs> divorced? What do you mean divorced? I just need the hat, sir. It's very important. Exactly. <laughs> I can't. If you... Uh, if I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please help me. I told you, I can't. My wife left me. She was the only one covering my top. If I take off the hat, my magna could my magma could erupt and kill everyone, including you. <clears throat> Where's your wife now? Maybe I can get her to come back. She she decided it was time for her to start her own island. So she broke up with me and I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. <clears throat> Oh, so now she is her own island? Hmm. Do you know where she is? I think she's on the water. Otherwise, I would feel her presence very strongly. But I don't. Oh, my love. My beloved wife. I'll go see if I can find her alright. Then you can give me the hat. Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what could happen. Can't I put something else on top of your head, sir? Like a rock or something? No, I like this hat. Oh, so it's just about the fact that you want the hat. <laughs> Alright. I'll be back. Okay, let's get away from this crazy rock. Okay. I know you're all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. Come to my side. And you'll have many new friends to play with. What the hell? I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary, and I don't like you. Fran, who are you talking to? Huh? The woman standing... Uh, it's nothing, Kitty. Okay. Is it this one? Yes. Uh, Summer? Yeah. There she is. Hello, miss. Wake up. I have a message for you. Oh, hello. A messenger. Uh, what a good day. Yes, miss. I'm the messenger of love. <laughs> love? Oh, but you're not pink. Uh, pink? No. I'm the brown and green love messenger. <laughs> hmm. And, uh, does the messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No, he made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. I understand, but what did he do to you? He was so hot and I fell in love with that. <laughs> but lately, he's been cold and boring. I, So I felt neglected. I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me. Uh... To show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time, so I want some credit for that. That's all. What? But miss, if I find the flower for you, would you come back? I guess. But I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I'll go see if I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Uh, always at the bottom. It's very different from all the other flowers. The bottom of what? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me and I shall return to him. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, miss, I found it. Look, look, the red flower. Oh, thank you so much. It's so beautiful. You are indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should go back to your husband right away. He, mi he really misses you. I'll see you there in winter time. I. <laughs> okay. Now we can get his hat. Mm -mm. I don't know why I keep going that way.
Okay. I'm back for your hat. It's very nice to see you two together. Uh, now I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb up on top. Oh, that's cute. Uh, and here's the hat. Thank you again. Okay. Wow, sir. I... I have to give the hat to the, uh... Great wizard now. Bye. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Here is his hat. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat. I feel like knowledge flowing through my body. I feel very happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil. The fruit. The creation of selective random elements. So we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it's incredible. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says the book. My book of knowledge is in the library. But we, but beware. The book may be hiding, so you'll have to be persistent and patient. Good, sir. I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password you need to get inside. Let me think. Um, think. It must be something about how we learn, or I remember the password is your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. Okay, I don't need to know what that means. Good, I'll remember that, so I'll go now. Bye. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> I keep going over there and not meaning to. Okay, uh, maybe go back over here. <clears throat> oh, I hate it. Do you remember, Fran? You are a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. <laughs> nutty girls must be punished. You stole my look. Do as I say. Do as I do, Fran. Jump. Uh, I, I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. Oh, my dear. Don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. Let them out of your head, my dear. Am I crazy, kitty? Tell me. No, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear. I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep going. Let's go to the library. Uh, oh. Okay. Let's see. Do you know the password? Yes, I do. Alright, what's the password? Let me remember the words. It was something like, Your eyes and ears are limited sensors. Shut them down before learning? Hmm. Good. And why is that? Because only then we can we really see. It's like the city. Uh, it was invisible to me before. Knowledge is everywhere, even in darkness and silence. You can come inside, have fun. Thank you. Okay. Hello, what are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think some letters look very scary. What? Maybe you should read something with lots of pictures instead. Oh yes, yeah, some other day, dear, but uh, now if you don't mind. Oh, sorry, excuse me. What are you reading about? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Uh, why aren't you reading? Uh, I need to find a book. Ah, special books are very nice. This one, uh, this one I'm reading is also very special. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll keep searching for my special book then. The fact that the music isn't here anymore, kind of, is weird. Hello, sir. What are you doing? I'm looking for my special book. Oh, sorry to ask, but why are you standing on that ladder? You have wings. 
Ah, uh, because the ladder is made to be used, of course. But what if I need to use it? Then you should wait your turn. What if it's an emergency? I can't wait that long. Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Okay. How about that? Uh. Oh, okay. Okay. What am I looking at? Um, oh my god. <laughs> Can I look at anything else? Okay, so... Um... Let's see. Oh! Maybe. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, maybe. I don't know if this is right. Eight and eight is sixteen. I, <laughs> I'm just kind of taking a wild shot. Uh, this was eight, nine, ten. Um, oh god damn it, I didn't look at what 10 was. Did 10 have one dot? Yeah. Um. There's probably not, like, a 16. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's 30. And then that's 40, 20, okay. So that's 21. Um, was this one in that? Yeah, it was nine. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if adding them up is right. Or, yeah, adding them together. Um. Okay. Oh, I missed that one. And then there's two. Oh, because you're adding to the one. Okay. Okay. I think that makes sense. <laughs> really doesn't make sense, but. Did that work? Was that right? The lever won't move. Okay. So I don't think that was right. <laughs> Unless I accidentally put the wrong one in there. Got that one. Oh, no. Not that one. That one. A. Okay, now I can turn the thing. It's already solved. I should push the lever. Oh, I just had to keep doing it. It was a like a jack-in-the-box. That's adorable. 
Uh, must be the wizard's book. Okay, so now, now I need the ladder. I see. Alright then. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's funny. Okay, so we have the book now. Now we need to go back. And I think there's only one more thing. And it's going to be a shoes. And I do not remember how to get those shoes at all. Because I know uh, the cat has to go in first to get somebody else's ticket. And, uh, but, oh, it has to be winter. <clears throat> uh, I have your book, sir. I don't need to talk to you. I need to give you the book. There you go. Uh, sir, here's your book. It was inside the music box. I saw the doll. The Itward Log. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are only two things left on the star. Oh, there's two. Yes. Fish in the water. Uh, fish, fish, swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go back home. Wow, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings, like humans? Of course. But only if circumstances are positive. The circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Um, so we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that my shoes are on... The amazing dancer's feet. Do you know where the dancer could be? I have no idea. I think I know. I'll go see. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go... Not that way. This way. Wait, no, it was that way, wasn't it? <laughs> it's just a pile of snow right now. Okay. Oh, this is gone now. Okay. Uh, there's a hole behind the firewood. Mr. Midnight, come here, my dear. Do you see that hole? Maybe you can go inside. Oh, are you sure? What if somebody sees us? I'll give you a secret sign if somebody comes. I'll say magic pause, alright? <clears throat> magic pause, huh? Then you have to come out right away. Alright, dear, here I go. Okay. Okay, there's the shoes that I need. I see a ticket. I can't take it right now. It's being used. Oh shit! Did you try with all the seasons? I'll try. Damn it. Okay. Oh. Hey. I just didn't wait long enough. Okay. Uh, okay. Now I can go back out. My mic is in the way and I can't really see. Uh, I have the ticket. I have it. You're incredible, kitty. Uh, I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Okay. Can I do this before he tells me? Okay. 
Hello again. Did you find your special ticket yet? The show is about to begin. One whole ticket. Look, sir. It seems that ticket found its way into my hands. What? Let me see it. This can't be right. It just can't. I already let someone in with that ticket. You bring many mysteries, little lady. But how do you know it was somebody else's ticket? The symbols are correct. But look at the handwriting. This belongs to someone much older than you. I can see it. Alright then. Is there any chance I can get inside? I mean, is it possible? When you get your own ticket, little lady, you'll be more than welcome. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's try it. Look, sir, I think this is my own ticket. Oh, I see. But you simply drew it yourself. <laughs> yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever little lady. <laughs> well, I guess I can let you go and enjoy the show. Thank you. Okay. Now we have to change this. Okay, it has to be going super fast. Okay. No. But that makes it go down? Yes. Um... Oh wait, what? There we go. Okay, and now we can leave it. Okay. I don't know if this, that was quite correct, but... Oh, sir, I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? He's concentrating, I think. Ugh. Hello. Oh, hello. You came. How nice. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, very much. But I need the dancer's shoes and I don't know how to get them. So you like to dance. He's a very good dancer. I've never seen him fall. So he's like the very best dancer in the world? The world? I would say the universe. He always follows the beat. Well, thank you. I have to go. Bye. Okay, I, I think I need to switch it quickly before... Because they're messing with it. Okay. And then I just need to switch it there. There we go. A. Now I can get the shoes. I have the shoes. Okay. Let's get out of here. I was trying to go back through the hole. Um, no, not that way. <clears throat> okay. And then, I think it's just the wand afterwards? Uh, use... Sir, I have the shoes. They're very pretty. Look. Whoa, you did it. You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. Thank you, sir. Now let's uh, do the last one so I can go home. Uh, the last one. Air. I recognize this feather. It belongs to Palantris. Yes, I saw him badly injured. He'll be fine. He has the pink water. That fixes everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Uh, go visit the old Volocus machine doll. My wand will be there. Uh, I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. 
Okay, sir. I'll bring your wand back. Okay. So, just the wand. Um, and then I think we just have to... Okay. Is that the other one? It's the only one I haven't touched yet. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, that was the wrong one. Um, I'm con okay. <laughs> all right, <laughs> that one was not hard at all. the wand. Here's your wand, sir wizard. Oh, magnificent. Splendid. You did it. Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. The stones are very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door, but you you were the only one who can turn the key and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king said he would show me where the door is. Ah, uh, then we should go talk with him. What do you think? Wait, I suspect you can't return home looking like a tree. I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring back my human body? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human. Yes, give me your clothing. I need to smell it. Here, sir. Uh, let me smell this. I... Uh, this can work. We will make me... We will make a human. Oh, this is so exciting. Good. Now go to the center of the Star of Esterista. And think about your body. Your head, your legs, your... <laughs> and the other leg. And your arm. Both of them now concentrate. Randomly selected elements find the path to your true essence. Become Fran the human now. I hate that. <clears throat> I hate the way that looks. Huh? Are you alright? Uh... <laughs> What happened? Is it done? Oh well, thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard because of the greatness. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. This is really grand. See you soon. My darling Fran, you're a human again. Welcome back. Thank you, kitty. It feels great. Okay, now I assume we can leave. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised to stay by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did who promised to take good care of you. Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who's always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, huh? Uh, what do you say? Let's be happy. 
Let's be so very, very happy together. <clears throat> Go away. Go away. It wasn't me. Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you can be... And you're human again. Uh, that's... That is very good indeed. My dear... Let me wipe away those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that, because you love me. Yes, Kitty. I do love you very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that's the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters inside of you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, let's do this. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? Oh, oh right, I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure. Alright, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh wow. We are going home, kitty. Sire the king, good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It'll be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay. A place very magical. Uh, wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Velocus, and she isn't ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard, place the stones. We have no time to lose. But ready for what? You know what the Valokas told you about facing your truth? Ah, oh, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. <clears throat> well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Um. Okay. Um, oh, so it just, you have to, okay, there we go. I smell victory again. <laughs> you did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave something for you to remember me. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Palantras, uh, gave... That's from Palantras. <laughs> oh, thank you. Tell Palantras I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway. Uh, I'll tell him, and don't worry. Palantras is better now. Oh, before you go, you have to know. Before you return to your reality, you'll pass through the secret woods. The woods are kind of invisible. Uh, passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run. They're quite slow. And you're telling me this now? Huh, that sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Uh, let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I like you very much. Goodbye. And here we go. Run. Oh! Oh, I have to do that to jump. Oh, it just keeps me. Ugh. Run. 
I almost missed that. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, I almost missed that one. Yeah! First try. <clears throat> Chapter 4, Part 1. My Imaginary Friend. Oh, here we go. My goodness, the door opened. Wow. Interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's find our... Let's find out where we are. Oh, Fran, I hope we can uh, find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one where we tried to cross before and fell into Asterista? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep going. Uh, we have to be careful now, Kitty. pills back please pills don't move <laughs> that's so funny oh god I'm caught in a trap oh no I shouldn't have touched the pills bad friend bad bad <laughs> uh, but I still have a knife a <laughs> the cat Uh, Fran, you're already here? Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And, as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I'm Itward, your faithful friend. Itward, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. I've been, uh, we've been playing together. I helped you get Mr. Midnight back, you see. Really? Huh, I think I managed uh, quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They only believed it was me. You see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. <clears throat> what do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Do you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat? I always came by... Came by night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. <clears throat> I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Take me home? I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. All right, you seem nice, I'll go with you, but I don't trust you yet. That's fine, come on now, I have something to show you. Yay, Itward. I love Itward. Behold, the Itward flying machine, what do you think? I love it, it has many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 2.35 yet. That sounds great, but what... What is it about 2.35, sir? I do, I do not understand. Uh, it's when time becomes slower. That gives us a chance to enter... Enter the ultra-reality. Inside the ultra-reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Uh, right now, we're standing at the endless limits of the second reality. 
But you're part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? Oh, the bird. Uh, wait, of course not. You can help me get water and fire berries. All right. Okay. All right. It's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Uh, great. Here's my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I have a bucket now. And the fire berries, you realize which berries to pick because of the fire. <laughs> Alright, sir. Can I just ask, what do you need the berries in the water for? Oh, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. The Kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come near the flying machine. We never know. But we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see. Here. Thank you. Beep, beep, boop. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. Do you really see it, though? Uh, I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. It's true. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries and the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. Okay. Beep, beep, boop. Okay. What do we have? What do we have back here? Okay. Am I nutritious? I bet I am. Tasty, fresh flesh. You're the Kamalas, aren't you? Can you talk? Hello? <laughs> okay. Uh, get out. Get out, you're trespassing on my territory. Huh? Excuse me? I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me, rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. Why do you say that, Mr. Moose? Uh, Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a... A deadly worm. Excuse me, a deadly worm? No, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. <laughs> I don't go around killing creatures. <laughs> I just return to the soil uh, what creatures took from it and don't need anymore. But I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Oh. Why is that adorable? Down here. Creature, can't you see me? Oh, there you are. You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask why you touched the moose in the first place? Normally only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you one of them? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to get to the fireberries. I see. I think it's possible. Uh, the moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fireberries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. Yes, I see. But I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. I wonder if I need the water first. Can't take the fire rays. They are on fire. Hmm. Let me... Let me climb down. And I'll go get water. Real quick. Oh, hello. Hello, are you those shiny ins insects that get stuck on trees because you're curious? 
Well, usually, we usually get stuck, yes, but how do you know all this? You're not one of us. I met some of your kind. I helped them get free of their curiosity. Oh, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Uh, yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to make our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is water. Oh. Uh. Can I use... Wait. No. No, not on brand. Lucifer? Uh, let's see. I assume I need, like, the hair. So. So shiny. Um, no. Hmm. Oh, God. Huh. <sighs> hmm, berries. All the berries. Oh, uh, let me. Hmm. Not that. Not that. Well, actually, yes, not. Um. I never did look at this, so I was seeing if. Oh my god, there's so much here. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I have a missed call. Um. Okay, I guess we can do that. Uh, let's see. I, I'm pretty sure I need some of the hair to... Hmm. Yeah, it won't let me... I'm not a scavenger. Uh, I need to climb the moose again. Okay, so... I guess I didn't... Oh, well, I need them to not be on fire. Okay. So I have to use my water bucket? No, oh, you fuck. No! Uh, I need help. Please, would you let me tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, I'll help you. Tie the bucket really tight. Thank you. You're very nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Hmm. 
Thank you. The bucket is now full of water. Thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. I have to go home. Home is a place where we all wish to be. But does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry. I, I didn't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. That sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Okay. Thank you for the water. The water, water. Okay. Go away, Mr. Bug. Okay, I assume I need to pour, like, a little bit of water. Yeah. Okay, and now I have both things, yeah. I didn't know if I'd need to get more water after that. Okay. I have both. Here's your bucket full of water. I got help from shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They're nice, yes. But only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't gone into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. What's reasonable there may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. Okay, and then there's your berries. Sir, I brought the berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much. Ah, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Hey. <clears throat> Taken off into space. Uh, it's 2.36. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Maybe I'd be more excited if I understood more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers aren't easy to recognize. Huh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time proceeds as it has to in order for you to be alive. If it all happened now, you'd probably explode. <clears throat> Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say through time you must explore and experience to understand. That means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others or not when others tell you how or where to find them. I see. Well, I'm excited now. You've awoken my uh, my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. Uh, but now, Fran, I have to get things done. Talking won't get you home. What things, sir? My machine needs some maintenance and I think you would do incredible work. <clears throat> Here are the fireberries and water you gathered before. You'll need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pump working again. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left, but feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something else to ask, I'll be here. Okay. See you soon. Um, oh, I got some tape. Can I get anything else? What the fuck am I looking at? Feet. Uh, one foot with a shoe, one foot without a shoe. Oh, weird. Huh. <clears throat> 
Um. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that one shoots at me. Oh god, playing a video game inside of a video game. Ah, damn it. No. I can't remember what the game is called, but it reminds me of it. <laughs> I just got an achievement for that. Wait, what is this? Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, and I can go in this door. <clears throat> um, mathematical problems. Uh, looks like a key I need. Okay. Hmm. What's up here, then? Oh, it's closed. Okay. Alright, let's go in here, then. Hello. Bit burp. Okay. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, okay. I have to take these. Um. How did it say? Okay, so the red hose has to go in the two. Um, what was the other hose? The blue hose? The blue hose has to go From that one into that one? Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, am I missing that? I guess I'm missing that one. Okay, that's not anything. Okay. That's the one I'm missing. So it's A18. And then... 2PF. Okay. And then R15. And then... In one sixty six. Okay. How do I? We'll supercharge the engine. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Okay, so... Hmm. Hey, don't judge him. You don't even know. Uh, 
Uh, I think it needs to be turned on in order. Oh, what's this up here? Oh my god. Okay. So water needs to go in this. And that'll go down. Uh, okay. There's that. Oh, tape, maybe? There we go. Um, matches. Or is that the, oh, there we go. Okay, did I do that correctly? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be doing things. Um. Hmm. Okay, so did I actually do everything here? Oh, right. I kind of forgot there was a third thing right here. Oh. And then if you move that at all. Okay. Okay, that's good to go then. Um, oh, so do I need to put the fire berries in that one? I wonder. Okay. Well, that one didn't have anything inside of it. Okay. Mm. Okay, and the... This is supposed to be the other way. But how do I do this? Do I need to move a... No. I wonder if I'm missing... Am I missing a... It kind of, yeah, it kind of looks like I might be missing a hose. I don't have anything weird on me, do I? Okay. Mm. Okay, and then that didn't work, right? Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can still do this. Can I have this key, stupid? <laughs> hey, I got the key. Okay, so... Oh god, I hate that. Hello. Oh, I need this. Give me this. I kind of forgot I had pills and I don't know why. 
Hello. I forgot to give myself some love. Okay. So... Nope. Oh. But where? Do we need to go there? I will try and use this everywhere. Damn it. Oh, there we go. Is that what I need? Maybe. Maybe there's more with the key. To it. Okay. <clears throat> Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but neither side could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It were the creature of night. He always came around in dreams of reality or reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided <clears throat> to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fart. Fart. <laughs> it's all your fault, Clara. Jesus. <laughs> it's all your fault, Mia. Fault. Then Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, You are both trapped. In a world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. <clears throat> they sewed your bodies together. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror that uh, to compare yourselves. It'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the end of the day, um, the day a black cat goes missing and the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Okay. Was that it? That was it? Okay. The hell? Okay. That was kind of random. Um. Mm.
nasty. Trying to figure out why I think that's correct. I think all of that is correct. That's why the thing is green. Yeah. Um I'm missing like a hose or something. Look at me. <clears throat> uh, oh, here we go. I did not see that one there. Okay, maybe, maybe that's all now. I figured I was missing a hose. There we go. Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed quite well, too. I did all the things you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now? Well, I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm, I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit or one with horns and killer eyes? <laughs> You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. Uh, it's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It sounds very scary, sir, but show it to me. Otherwise, I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me. Okay. There. See? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? It's a... Uh, from what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. Oh. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There's nothing to be afraid of. That little motherfucker. Uh, what? Don't go, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. I don't know if I need any of this stuff. Oh, I do need that. <laughs> okay. 
eight. Six, eight. Uh, and I can't tell what that is. There's an achievement for feeding. Oh, that's a nine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Something on that. And then one more time on that. Uh, it looks like I need a battery. Hmm. Boop beep boop. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Oh wait, there's more here. That is also an eight. So six, eight. Eight, nine. Um, what does that do? Oh, thank you. Okay, got the battery. Now what happens? Nothing. Ah. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't like that. A water symbol. I guess it's connected to something. Okay, I don't have any more water. A. Hey. No, I want to use it on the water. Oh, can I not just, like, put it there and it's, like... <laughs> it can't be done. Do I have to do this in a timely manner? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And use it on this. Okay. I sure won't even try that. Um. <laughs> okay, are you? Oh, you stinky. Can we clean that off? Okay. Hmm. Did I need water back downstairs at all? Or back in here? I guess I could look at things normally, huh? Let's try it again. Because I didn't... Uh, I've seen these in movies, but uh, the thief always knows what to do. Okay. So, did those down here have like a... A, uh, like... Oh, it does. Okay. Oh, I don't need that on anymore. Let's see.
right? What? No, I wasn't. Reset. <laughs> Um. No, not right either. What the fuck? Um, do I have... Can I examine this? I never did look at this. Hmm. Um... I'm not entirely sure. Okay, what the fuck? I was putting it in wrong. I swear to god, both times I thought that said eight. I mean, six, and it says eight. Okay, let me reset. Um... I assume that noise means I'm right. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I th I straight up thought that said six. Both times I looked at it. Maybe I should push the button before opening the Oh my god, I hate you. Happy birthday. Oh, a birthday party. I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear. Come and eat cake. Alright, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Edward, Edward sir. The cake is made of all your uh, favorite ingredients. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all the members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born are handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead, open it. Oh, I actually have to open it. Oh, it's cute. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, oh, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give your eyes a new per perception, you know. Like ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities and the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time for example these exact coordinates of time and space are uh, we're having a birthday party but in ultra reality other things are happening all the time slower faster or just invisible to the human eye because of time humans can define past present and future Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand the environment. You have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I feel a bit dizzy. That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. Uh, we're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did you hear that, kitty? 
Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting. Alright, here I go. Hello? Oh no. No, no, no. Oh dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you alright? I'm alright, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's no one left alive. There's... <laughs> There's one left alive. Uh, you have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans away the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it might be hiding from your eyes. Okay. Oh my goodness, Kitty. I'm scared. Me too, Fran. We have to find that Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Okay. Um, ba da da. Here. Val? Okay. Oh, I can go back to the door. Oh, wait. Ah, do I need more water? Oh, no, I have water. Water, water. Um, use water. What do you mean, negative, bruh? That's what I wanted, yes. Don't run. Where are you going? Okay, I don't have my water or the bucket anymore. Maybe up here again? Huh. Was that right? Yeah. Uh, I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Edward. Yes. Okay. I think we're good. Edward, sir, we did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes. But it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. Oh. I will always take care of you, my dear. And the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. <clears throat> the end. But that's a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of Fran Bo and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. I promise that word I'll never forget you. <clears throat> Good, now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Doctor's prescription. Chapter 4, Part 2. <laughs> what a fucking deer. Get out of here, you fucking nerd. <laughs> Itward? Ow, kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we're alive. Hmm, but Itward is gone. But he brought us home. Uh, we're just outside of town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier about this. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe he can take the med- Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. See? The bottle is empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come see me someday. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, before I go any farther, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. Um, let's go home. Oh my goodness, this is our street, Kitty. Hayes Street. Yes, it is. Ooh, is this our house? And here we are. This looks so much... This looks much more gray than I remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not home, dear. Do you have the key to get inside? No, I don't have it, kitty, but I know there's a hidden one somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. In a flower pot? Nope. Nope. I took the key, Fran. Okay. Where are you going? Come here, kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. What? <laughs> you already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. All right, then wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. What the hell? Fran, I can't believe it. You're alive. Where where were you? Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for, uh, for a long time. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave me now, please. Hmm. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed through the second window, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. Uh, I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat's in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. You took too long, you little bitch. What the hell? Can I look at things in here? I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. Uh, I found things that I don't understand yet. 
I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Uh, family murder on Hayes Street. The body is perfectly sliced. Uh, Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. The investigating police officer Marco Holma said it seems that the bodies were perfectly si sliced which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. What? Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Franbo. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Franbo, uh, Fran is now free from pain, from all pain. We hope to reunite. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Weird. But I'm not dead, sir. This is this is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your new medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. We looked at it in the laboratory and the levels of ectoplomatin, ectoplomatin were too high. <clears throat> that can't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the conscious and subconscious mind. The problem is if ectoplomatin is too high, the door will open too wide and that can create great confusion in your brain a great confusion in my brain I'm a bit confused yes <laughs> but that was because of all the new things that I can see and feel what do you mean Fran I can see the ultra reality sir and also travel to other worlds ultra reality that must be effect of the duo team nothing more that's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. <laughs> you don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean that you're imagining things, that's all. Oh my god. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arm hurts. What the fuck? Oh, did your father hurt you with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you about that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. Uh, it's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I'd stayed in Ishtarista with Palantras and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward and Palantras, and my kitty is all alone. Palantras, Itward, please, Fran. Palantras is a doctor of Ishtarista. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight and I saw mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum who claimed 
to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see those reactions of DNA. But nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Holy shit. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so, so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Okay. Here we are. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? He's come back to finish the job. <laughs> You'll see. Come on, follow me. Okay. Can I get back in this car? Okay. What? Gearbox? What did you just say? <laughs> Okay, that's all the stuff. That's the stuffy stuff. <laughs> Hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? This is your parents' resting place and also yours. <clears throat> Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean, if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behavior and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And with what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms <laughs> came already. Who? Hmm. Anyway. We have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, alright? Yes, Dr. Darren, see you soon. Okay. <clears throat> um. Stuck. So does that mean I can use that? Oh, hello. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. Haha. <laughs> I think I can because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see you. I'm Sebastian, by the way. Uh, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Last year, we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find that leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door f for me from the inside. I could do that. Or we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Uh, but where will I ever find that? Huh. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay. So I assume I can use my knife on his car. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, there you go. <laughs> wow, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe of Pinezillas will be happy. And now I'll open the door in just a second. 
Ah. Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? <laughs> I'm alright, miss, yes. Good, well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, giant miss. I have Fabio. Okay. Oh, I have to go. Good night, miss. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. Oh, God. Huh, there's nothing in here I can use. What do you mean there's nothing in here you can use? There's... what? Am I crazy? Or is it just a no-look thing? There you are, friend. Look, I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Okay. Doing a great job. I think I'm gonna let you do that. I'm just kidding. Well, now. <clears throat> uh, we'll have to find something to open the coffins. Uh, they're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case. But I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar. I needed it to open the door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll open them. Okay. What? Motherfucker. Not the, not the grave. I want the coffin. <laughs> Use it on dis Mr. Dearn. I guess I probably have to fucking click on him. Ding. One. Two. Why do they look like that for... Hmm. For being chopped up, they, uh... Seem like... Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad about doing this, seeing my parents like that. Also, that dead cat isn't my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you, your cat was missing. And maybe this one is actually your cat. No, it can't be. I did find my, my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Hmm. Stupid old bitch. Oh! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. The hell? You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, the in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Okay. Oh, hello. Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? 
Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran. Don't worry about the lies. The seeker of truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran. Go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer and cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. The hell? The door just disappeared. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's okay. But what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about, about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room <clears throat> in another time. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. Things. If it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said everything was in my head. Um, I don't think I can do anything with that point yet. Um... What the hell? And the wind took all the magic, magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. We are chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained up. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the altar of reality. Did you meet Itward already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already. But I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? Does that mean you're broken? I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into altar reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, to break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? Not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They... Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones. The white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then why why we see the things we do? Would it help you would it help if I unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend? I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chain. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Mm, box of keys. Uh, go back.
<laughs> no. Wait, what? That one won't fit either. Oh, there we go. What the hell? Thank you so much, Fran. Uh, you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it'll help you with something. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming, all the boogers were driving me mad. I press... I press it by the ears, first, twice to the left, and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining you little golden box, press your eye again and open the door. So, uh, twice to the left and once to the right. Rub the eye twice. Um, and then once left. And then press the eye again. Uh, Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he told me that if we meet again, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. Uh, what? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. Okay, bye. No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay. Um. Left. Left again? Can I not click these? Huh. I can't rotate it either. Um, can I examine this again? Yeah. No, not that. I can click on it there. Hmm. Oh, I see right here. Okay. So I don't know if I can reset that. But There we go. What was that? Uh, Grimmon? Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The Velocus is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of a giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles, too bright, and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned devil child and shut down the lights. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, so I assume I can get things in here. Okay, I have that. I can just move them around. Um, okay. I don't need matches right now. That looks like something. Thunderman. <laughs> oh, there's a key behind this. Um. Hey, another key. <clears throat> um, okay. I think that might be the only thing in there. Okay. I look out the window. I'm sorry, what the hell? Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I am. I am a somebody. <clears throat> Have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen any black cats, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think that's a Kamala. Are you alright? Not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, maybe I can... Uh, maybe I will be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Okay. So that probably means I'll get water eventually. Uh, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. Huh? Like Alice in Wonderland Alice? That's fucking... My tiny sock for my tiny feet. Yeah, balloons. Huh. I'm actually kind of, like, shocked about the Alice. Ew. Dang. Okay, mirror. Choo-choo train. I don't remember having the door removed. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't have any, um, oh, I can move these. Why would I need to do that? It kind of seems like I need the button off of that. Ah, I got a button. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with those yet. Okay. I can't do anything with the clock. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, hold on just a second. Okay, I already did that.
Oh. Okay. And it magically just brings a door here, huh? A. <clears throat> what in the absolute fuck? It's locked. So is that the key I have? No. Oh, there's a key right here, though. Man, I'm getting all kinds of keys. Okay, I unlocked that. Can I unlock this one? Dang. Okay. Okay, so I can only go in here for right now. Inside the little house. Oh, there's a message in the pocket. Okay. Okay. What's this way? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden and that would be the end. I just want the soap. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. The soap, are you having trouble with your hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is rotting inside. <laughs> But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright, take it. It's yours. Thank you. But be careful with hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. Their beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. What the actual fuck? Can I do something? Why would I... Why would I want to do that? Do I need to put the... Like, to activate it? No. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are so many doors uh, I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Reinforced teeth, I see. I'll see what I can do to get the key then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, friend. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I'll, so I'll know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is a mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscur obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I the fifth reality? I thought Rimor was king here. Uh, Rimor the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. No. Mm. Uh, sir, do creepy things like you feel pain? Pain is the opposite of welfare, that's all. M maybe welfare to me is to bleed until my body dries up. Uh, the pain could be crystalline, the crystalline laugh of a child, so yes, I feel pain. I see. Well, I'll go now, bye. <laughs> huh. Okay. So I assume I need, like, a... 
What are you doing? Poke it in the eye. Hmm. Does that work on that? Oh, it does! Okay. Um, that's an eyeball. What is this? Other than an eyeball. Intruder. Inf infiltrator. Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula. The eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. I must see. You must see very well. Ugh. I see everything nonetheless. <clears throat> everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal? A queen? A princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside of a cage. The bear of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. <clears throat> He's still down there inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you saw? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, the fur is very dark black as the deepest night. It's him. That's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Wake her up. Uh, waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave you are brave and I respect bravery very much. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. Okay, I got a brush. A golden snail. What does this do? Oh, I can just go in that A. Oh, we got a plug. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the thing to use. The only thing coin like I have. Oh. Oh, motherfucker. No, wait. Use it on the machine. What? No, I... But I want the... There we go. There we go! Oh. That's not what I thought it was gonna give me, but... Here we are. Okay, now give me the plug. <laughs> Can I get this bottle? I absolutely can. Man, I'm just getting all the things, aren't I? Okay. What's this do? Why would you want that to happen? Oh, because I can take a light bulb from it. That is even more exciting. Okay, what? Okay, I assume these are like pliers and I can use them for his teeth. Oh my god. Get fucked, loser. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's terrifying. Is it going this one? No. It goes in that one. Hello. A wake up clock. Perfect. Okay. Oh, thank you. I got a globly. Uh, looks like I just need a case now. I'm going up. Oh, hi. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just beside you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk. 
Just let me take the key. If I choose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck in this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Um. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What's that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, I promise promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn if I was in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked! What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Luciferin. All Luciferins I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Then do it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you can smell it? Okay, that goes back down. I assume I have something in my inventory to... To get it. Maybe. Um, what? I assume I need all of... Let me look. Uh, yeah. Because I... I need... Oh, I need the wake-up clock, too. And a bottle with water. Okay. First of all, I need the... I forgot, I completely forgot I had water balloons. Uh, but I can go over here. Excuse me, I'll be taking this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Was it this room? No. 105, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot I had these. Oh, my fuck. Okay, I have water balloons now. And then this needs to be filled with water as well. Can I take this board? Um, and now we need to go back to the tree, because I assume the water balloons are for the, um... No. <laughs> are for the Kamala that's out there. Uh, use on the Kamala. You got this, friend. Yeah! Little nasty bastard. <laughs> wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Okay. Now I'm sure I can get that key. over here. I'm gearing up.
Okay, and I have the key now. Um, and I assume that it'll open this. Ew, stinky. What in hell? Can I talk to you? Um, I didn't see little girls in Mabuga's den always die. Can I talk to her? Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You are not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka to you. Arrogant little infant. <laughs> and how did you plan to wake her up? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to into Isterista. Horrid place, I say. Too dazzling. Uh, well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile. Your fragile uh, little mind will be safer there with all the those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Was there something I missed back in here? Could be. I don't know. I didn't see a case anywhere, but it could be like under the bed. I don't want to lay on this bed ever again. Um, where do you get the case though? Oh, it was in here. I didn't even see this there. Motherfucker. Okay. So now, do I have everything I need? I do, I do. Okay. Ah. Um, okay, so I, I think that's just to, like, wake her up. Can I combine any of this with... Oh, wait, I have to build it on the cat's back, don't I? That is what the thing said. Uh, it's over here. Um, do I have to do this in like a specific order? Uh, and then what else was it? A soap bar. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. Okay, we've got the thing to wake up Mabuka now. It's up here. Beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness uh, rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl. 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? 
You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat something sort of reddish, uh, a reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills kind of uh, looked like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. <laughs> the power has been unleashed. Uh, I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you that? The great Volokas from Primeve uh, told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be haunted, hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remar killed my parents, Mother M Mabuka. Can you imagine how that feels? I am all of those feelings, Rambo. I am everything sinister. All the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears of sorrow, from desperation and fear. Then you don't care if Remar has killed, uh, killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious to know the reason if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. Uh, it's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Okay. I'm sorry, where the hell am I? I am number seven. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You look like you took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Ha! Where's my knitting needle? Eh? Did you stab all your f little friends with it? What? A knitting needle? Are you, are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald's Asylum? Do I look dead to you, you little beast? Uh, take a number, would you, and wait your turn in the waiting room. <laughs> but Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Kind of looks like you did, though. Oh, wait. I just came down that fucking ladder. Now, it's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. I wonder how long I have to wait now. Hours? Maybe days? I've been waiting for a week now. How long... Has everyone else been waiting? I've been waiting for like a month. Um, but I have number two, so it must be my turn very t soon. I've been waiting three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Uh, excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things go faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why don't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My my R.I. has been blinded. I have this broken horn you see. I can't be a doctor. I have to be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost the ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Uh, but how can you not know? Do you feel pain anywhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make the question softer? That's very strange. <laughs> hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Uh, it's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one who sees it all. You've only become... Or you've only known us for a few minutes. 
that's very little time to understand it all. That's true, but it would be nice to use someone or some common sense. Uh, why? What does common sense have to do? Or what does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. Uh, it's not the same as seeing everything. Now I want to wait because talking won't make the waiting go faster. Huh, alright, thanks for nothing. <laughs> now it's a boring wait. My R-I is broken. The big eye told me that it's because she sees all. What? Hmm. Let me just stab it real quick. Uh, do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Okay. Huh. Uh, okay, so it's just the... No, I want to talk to her. What the hell? Oh, I can go this way. No, wait, I just came from that way. What the hell? Um... Because I think you can help all these. Um, they listen, they see, they touch. I hate it. almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. Okay. What if I find out what illness you have? Would you give me your ticket then? Sure, if I'm still down here when you come back. Okay. Where was, was I here? Yeah. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Uh, can you tell me what illness the creature uh, who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony. Well, what, uh, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can. Cry until you fill this bottle. We'll do it. Um, but don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and... 
I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. Mabuka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty, Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Asturza and be happy. Hmm. Lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is uh, full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Thank you. Uh, go now. Time doesn't wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Okay. Back up here. Uh, this way. Okay, use it on this guy. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison poison me? How lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound darkness and darkest elixir I've ever tasted. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, there you go. Thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Oh, number two. Use on this lady. Hello, patient number two. We're doing all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number of weight. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I want to find him. A lost kitty, don't worry. It's a natural reaction to your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. <clears throat> huh, lucky? But how do I get an appointment then? Uh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Okay. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment for now? Oh, that would be silly because I'm now I'm waiting for you to call me. All right, I'll go make the call. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, was it down here? I think so. I think so. Zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven. Why are there so many twos up in this bitch? Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call you to make an appointment. It's Fran Bo. Uh, I'm available now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. Yes, I have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Then. Great. Great. Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. <laughs> what it sounds like whenever I'm talking to my mom. Why she's asking me if I have a pair of eyes, I don't know. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, friend Bo is the name and my appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Um, holy shit. I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. <laughs> yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Okay, bye. <laughs> you turd of a fucking thing. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're Remar, aren't you? I haven't had the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remar, the terrible black... Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try and act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? And where did what did you do to Dr. Deer? I immensely enjoy seeing 
your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You're under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. <clears throat> Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that that night outside my window. It must be... It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Shabby, shabby. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. What the hell? Uh, I didn't kill my parents. I didn't. That monster wants to trick me. I know it. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Okay. Uh, okay. I have that. Dr. Deard, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up. Please, Dr. Deard, wake up. Are you alive? Um, maybe this? <laughs> um, huh, these buttons don't do anything. And I can't click on that. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't very funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. Okay, I did read that right. That was weird. Uh, I'll take you to Asteristo, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Okay, D, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dearn, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Okay. Maybe this will wake him up. Oh, God, she stabbed it into his neck. Damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Darren, it's me, Fran. Ah. Oh. What? I can't see very well. Fran Bo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. Uh, we were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought us here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. <laughs> Just let me help you. Uh, but what is she doing here? I thought you chained her up. But I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace. Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother, do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald from the Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Vermore did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. 
What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. Uh, it was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Ramor all the time. But why is he hunting me? Ramor is a manifestation of your weakness. A blind and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. Uh, but I actually did you a favor. You were suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. <clears throat> Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald, Dr. Oswald only wants what's best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, we knew you'd be a very special girl. He, took a, he told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you. But that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. <laughs> she just threw him off a cliff! <laughs> That's not funny. No, no, kitty. Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my, my parents, didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Um, stop it, Fran. Uh, please help. Don't, don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. What the fuck? Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. What the fucking shit? Fran, are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dearn. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Uh. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But you're not human. Uh. Edward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh mother Mabuka, you took the you took the child's innocence, Fran is now dead and alive. What? Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. Oh, little Edward. I love Edward so much. <laughs> what happened? Edward Palantris? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight? How? You're alive. My kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. 
friend, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Darren, look. This is Itward and Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Do you believe me now? He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka right now. <laughs> we really must leave now. But he can come with us, please. He's He's been really nice to me. He wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents would be proud of you. You really think so? Ah, oh, thank you, Palantris. Now let's send Dr. Dearn home. Marcel Dearn. Oh, okay. And then whatever language that is. Goodbye, Dr. Dearn. Now let's go, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. <clears throat> I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know that between guilt and fear I choose happiness. Cool. That's so cute. I like his flying machine. Oh, that was so good. I love that game. It's probably one of my favorite games that I've ever played. Um, and Kill Monday Games is apparently working on another game, which is exciting. They're going to announce it July 11th, I think. Um, and I don't know if they're... I, I thought there was like a rumor or maybe it was true of them... Um, making like another chapter or another couple of chapters of Fran Bow. Maybe it was another game, but I don't remember. Um, but I kind of hope that happens. Maybe we'll get a little bit more about what happened after all this. And more adventures. I don't need to see the... Oh, I guess we're stuck with the credits. But... Yeah. It's a lot of reading. My throat is like fucking dead. <laughs> but I was happy to play it again. I had originally played it whenever I was first making YouTube videos and I never did the ending. Like I think I got to chapter 5 and never finished it. So I just deleted it and here we are streaming. So... <laughs> <clears throat> can I skip this? Oh. oh, I can hold it down. That's always a handy thing to add. Yay! We finished Fran Bow. So, um, I believe tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, so I won't stream tomorrow or Thursday, but I will come back on Friday with I can't decide if I'm gonna start another Resident Evil game or if I'm gonna play Little Nightmares, but um, but I'll do one of those two on Friday, and I will see everybody then. Thank you.